Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. Love the song title for this one. It's just called Trauma. So we are in the final chapters of the game. It does feel like the game is trying to wrap up. So we'll see what happens if we end up going to, uh, I guess, presumably the junkyard is our next destination. And I guess we'll see how close I was on some of the predictions, question mark? I mean, so far things are lining up. I still don't fully understand who the professor is. That to me is like the only thing I'm just like, I, I'm assuming he worked for the police force at one time. Maybe like the bird on his head is because people thought he was crazy, like he's a crazy old coot kind of thing. Maybe it's like a visual pun. Detective has on dog dog mode engage exactly. Let me not do that because then I can't see the game. Yeah, exactly. Oh, chat. Yeah, we're at two fifty five a.m. <clears throat> Hope you're feeling better today, Chris. <clears throat> I like how it starts with 10 years ago a man named Sissel, but that's not what happened in the previous chapter. This is not an accurate summary. We learned that the man's name is not Sissel, but we didn't learn what it was. If you remember the dialogue from the detective, he said that's not the name you went by, I think was what he said. <clears throat> Took a little girl named Lynn hostage and then was killed by a meteor ray fragment. Okay, this is lining up. Tonight, a man named Sissel met a detective named Lynn at the junkyard on the edge of town and then was killed by a bullet. The scene I find waiting for me on the other end of the phone line feels like the final nail in the coffin of my lost memory. Does it though? There we go, what a pose. I see. Myself. I mean, we shouldn't really be surprised at this. There you are. Commander Sith, finally. His name, I forgot his name was Sith. Until where have you been, my good man? We've been looking everywhere for you. Had a little unfinished business to take care of. I didn't think it would take this long. What about your people? They went out of their way to mess me up. I say, I believe we fulfilled every one of your conditions in our little deal. What right do you have to complain about anything outside our bargain? We can talk about that when we get together. This will be our last communication by telephone. We'll arrive in one hour. Look forward to seeing you, Sissel. Dawn is approaching. Dark the darkness surrounding my own mystery is deep, but I know it's always darkest before the dawn. Okay, Batman. <laughs> right, chat? Okay. Mm, yes. We're nearing the final stages of our little deal, my good man. Yes, sir. All preparations are complete, sir. We just had a report, sir. Lights have been spotted, sir. Have they now? By all means, let me have a look. Wait. 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 Is he in a submarine? Wow. There's there's no other explanation. He has to be, right? Why else would he pull a periscope down? Okay, I did not see that one coming. We will now disconnect from the communication cable. And have no service until we arrive, sir. Very well. Oh, 
We have to be. Yeah, we are in a submarine. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Okay, chat. That that was more than I I could not have guessed this. This is actually just ridiculous. <laughs> not in a million years would I have thought a landline would have been connected to a submarine. You got me on that one. Nice try, Inspector Cabanella. But you could never stop me. See you, sucker. Mm hmm. Trick time. So, submarine guy and his people have a deal going with me, do they? Okay, okay, listen, listen, chat. Why do we know? <laughs> I guess maybe because he... Uh, I, I don't like that he mixes words that he probably shouldn't know into it when it... Well, I am still convinced he's the cat. I feel like this kind of stuff will definitely throw off people. I don't blame people for not getting that he was the cat. Stuff like this where it's like, it, technically the other guy knew about it, but like, why would we know that? Whatever. His people have a deal going with me, do they? That's the case. They probably aren't the ones who killed me, right? Anyway, it's definitely something behind the inspector's death. I think I better talk to him. Translation, I just ignore him for a little bit. Ooh. I love how the game won't let me check down. So chat, I think they destroyed the room below. Oh. Did they kill the bird professor? What happened in here? Was it some kind of like explosion? How did the ceiling get damaged in multiple places? And then stuff is on. Well, stuff was always kind of on the floor. It, did he get blown up? Like, I'm looking at it like, what? <laughs> what else would cause the kind of damage? Doesn't know science, can't read, knows Ruko board machines and submarines, exactly. Hey, do you think you could wake up for me? Dot dot dot. Oh boy, still unconscious, huh? Guess he hasn't been dead for very long then. I'll just go ahead and go back to four minutes before his death. A little nervous about what I might see there, though. But if that's where I'm gonna find my answers, I can't run away from it. I mean, this has to be a ridiculous death. Like, just absolutely insane. 250, maintenance building. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. That's a good boy. Gee, a hostage sure is a handy thing. He gives me complete control over the top police inspector in the country. Ugh. What's the matter? All those broken bones smart a bit? What's it like to feel pain? What does it make you feel alive? Why are you doing this? Now, is that any kind of question for a top inspector to ask? Isn't it obvious? Revenge, of course. Revenge on all the people who stole my life away ten years ago. Don't be ridiculous. Is a meteorite that stole your life? Or have you forgotten that? Wrong! Damn, and he's burning his hand on the thing, so he definitely doesn't feel pain. I was murdered by all of you! Detective Jode chased me down and forced me into a corner, even though I was innocent. Lynn, the girl who was right there where I was running, Oh yeah, it's the girl's fault you kidnapped her. <laughs> right, chat? Uh-oh, classic victim blaming. Lynn, she was just an innocent little girl playing in the park. That rat hadn't been there, I never would have thought of taking a hostage. Oh, what a classic. That's the most self-centered garbage I've ever heard. And finally you, Inspector Cabanella. Me? 
you hadn't done what you did. I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. How dare she be so kidnappable, exactly. You were so proud of your spotless record. My case was the one blot on it, wasn't it? Only two people know the real truth. Me and Detective Jode. Dot 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 dot. I bet tonight's execution will be quite a relief to you, won't it? What do the people know about the stain on your record will disappear for good? That's why you didn't help him escape from prison. That's the kind of guy you are. Dot 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 dot. I've got nothing to say to you. You'd never listen anyway. Damn, he just straight up shoots him too. He crumples him. Oops. So we can manipulate bodies and inanimate objects. See that, chat? We're learning. You gods. Now then, Inspector. Time to make a big red stain on your spotless white coat. This was another condition of my deal. To wipe out everybody who knew about Temsik. There we go. Revenge. That's what I'm up to? None of this makes any sense. Because that's because you're not him. <laughs> right, chat? Hey, man. Mind telling me what's going on? Inspector Cabanella, he's awake. My head's spinning, baby. Am I to understand? That Cabanella character who just got shot is me. Yeah, I gotta say not, Sissel. You know that's not you, exactly. Yeah, it's not a half-self or cloned baby daughter or not any of that nonsense. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to be the scoundrel there who just shot me. I, uh, guess so. But you couldn't be, could you? Huh? After all, the guy in the red suit just walked out the door, right? So, who are you? Guess I just have to face it. I'm not that Sissel guy. There we go, chat. I'm somebody who's searching for himself. That's why I'm here to save you. At the very least, you have information about that guy in red. Information I need. So you came on a rescue mission now, did you? Nothing like the sound of that, baby. Welcome in Parameter, hope you're doing well. Because there's a very important life here somewhere. A life valuable to this nation. Okay, so do your thing, baby. Hmm, how do I prevent him from getting shot? I will definitely take any game hints here. So, you're a manipulator too? I have ghost tricks, powers of the dead, but can't control living creatures. Anywho, I think you better be very careful. The guy in red is a manipulator. Naturally, he knows about powers like yours. If he realizes you're here, things might get a little sticky. Right, I better be careful. Look at him. There's that something emanating from his body. Is it really the sign of having special powers of the dead? No, come on. We saw the meteor earlier. I'm just curious if we game over, what happens? What's going on? Never seen the ghost world like this. So, you're here, are you? You sense my presence. I noticed you. You think you can stop me, do you? I don't know why you're wearing my face. You might as well give up now. I control everything. So I imagine I have everything, including the life of this police inspector in white. So I imagine I have to... 
Wait, don't shoot. Gunshot. I imagine I have to maybe use the helmet to hit his arm before he shoots. Southern me knows the powers of the dead well. Who wouldn't notice what you just did? You're practically shouting, look at me, baby. I'm glad we got this game over, though. I just want chat to know this is very much on purpose. I was curious what would happen. So now we got to think through a little bit what to actually do. Looks like it might be hard to save you under these circumstances. Hmm. Guess I can't use my powers right in front of him like that. Yeah, see, now I'm just thinking about what constitutes right in front of him. You know what I mean, chat? Like, if he's already going to shoot, does it matter? That's what I'm thinking about right now. Guess I better rewind the clock again and see if I can pick up any other clues. Because that seemed to be, like, one of the only things we could do. But maybe we'll take a look at the room again. And I... Although I guess if we... Wait, if we possess the lamp, what happens in that case? Right? Because he has to swivel it at some point, right? So if I'm here, what does he do? I wonder if that actually blocks him. Let's find out. I don't want to open the spout lid. Oh, can I smack him in the face with the desk lamp? Hmm. Oh, I can actually see what's down here now. Look at this place. Yeah, I was going to say, I kind of want to go see what happens if we smack him in the face, if it actually hits him. What in the world happened here? Dot, dot, dot. I think I'm starting to remember. Something bad happened here. And now, there's another death lying hidden here. Oh, okay. So the solution was to not do anything. That makes sense. Didn't I tell you from the start? Didn't I say there's a very important life valuable to the nation here? I thought you were talking about you. Hmm. I'm just a crazy character in a white coat, baby. Oh, there's the pigeon. Hey, come to think of it, where's that old pigeon guy? Oh, hold on, I'm gonna rerun time. <laughs> right, Chad, hold on. I, I wanna try smacking him in the face just to see what happens. I can't not try it, right, chat? Like, you, you just, you, you gotta mess around a little bit while you're on the, the path to ending the game. I wonder if it just smacks him just straight in the face. Hold on, you should do it, like, right about now. You can't see it, but my finger is, like, hovering right on the trick button. Come on, do it. Do it. Oh, it didn't hit with any force. Boo. Boo. Okay, we're rewinding so we don't have to watch that cutscene. <laughs> right, chat? That would have been hilarious. He just gets bonked in the face. <laughs> oh, well, I tried. So anyway, I think I gotta wait for this to fall. Might as well just wait in the kettle then. I know, that would have been hilarious. So we can examine this. This is some kind of device. Very astute observation. Sorry, my memory isn't working. Yeah, mine isn't working too well right now either. I do remember seeing somebody use this equipment though. 
Hmm. Open the toolbox, maybe something will fall out. Oh, where well, that works, I guess. Um, excuse me. Are you awake? Of course. Never sleep during work hours. Professor, do you recognize me? There's only one crazy character in a white coat that I know of. He hasn't lost his memory. Not the type who likes losing things. But never mind that. Cabanella, this is quite a surprising guest you brought with you. Pretending like he didn't just blow up the place. Are you talking about me? Yeah, he probably should not have a pigeon on his head. The pigeon's still alive. Oh, this is a different guy. And I'm his guest, actually. Said he came to rescue us. Unlike you, my sharp friend. He still hasn't gotten his memory back. Hmm, <clears throat> pitiful. Ouch, that hurts. Anyway, I will be going back to four minutes before your death. Where to change your fate, that is. But aren't we already in the past, man? But we could go back even further. I've done it before. Still don't see a path to saving Inspector Cabanella. But if we go back further, maybe I'll find a lead. Hmm. 2.42 a.m., four minutes before death. How many times do I have to tell you, Professor? This place is dangerous. Don't be daft. I can't leave now. Oh, so he stuck the body here. So he must have brought the body over. Interesting. He's completely dead. But just as I thought, I'm getting a reading. This is the source of his powers. If I remove it... He's not dead. He's just not there. The true form of the man manipulator isn't something you can detect. It's a spirit. Hmm. Ridiculous. <laughs> so you figured it all out, huh? You're a clever man, Inspector Cabanella. So it's really true. You're... you're... I wasted a lot of time tonight because of you, Inspector. But it's all just like you said. I died ten years ago. This body is just a vessel. A shell. I control everything. The shell. People. Just like I controlled the Justice Minister and Lin. So it's true. You were manipulating my baby that time. You made her shoot your shell. But why? Why would you do a thing like that? to create conclusive evidence, you know, on that security tape. Now she's a murderer too. She'll suffer just like Joe did. Justice Man is never gonna get a name, exactly. I think they gave up, they, they had the opportunity, they decided against it. Now then, Professor, I'm afraid it's time for you to die. I don't have any grudge against you. I'm even grateful to you. Oh yeah? So why don't you let me live then? I'll be leaving this country forever tonight. But before I do, I need to erase all evidence that these powers of mine exist. Along with the contraption in this room. This time, the thing will work the way it was meant to, and it'll all be over. 
Cupid won't turn this time. He'll shoot his little arrow this way. Oh, there's, there is TNT over there. What? When did a TNT get there? What? <laughs> Professor, look out! Um, what? Wait, no, who brought the TNT there? How did they- Okay, I have so many questions. Yeah, the dynamite, eh? When the devil did he put that there? What a great question. What? If I go back in the other chapters, can I actually find that? He planned it all out tonight. Having my baby shoot him, having his corpse disappear. His corpse disappeared. Yeah, that guy. That medical examiner, remember him? He was a complete and utter imposter. He said he was going to take the corpse back to the lab. But he'd already made a deal with the manipulator to meet him and give him the body back. It is all according to Keikaku. But I wasn't going to let that happen, baby. Okay, if we have chapter select, I definitely want to go back and see if the dynamite is there. He's all through his plan, eh? I noticed right away the medical examiner didn't know the first thing about examining a body. I knew he was a fake. So I tracked him down and bought him off. Bought him off? I had him smuggle the corpse to this room. I thought we could find the source of his powers. Of course, never in my wildest dreams that I think his abilities were powers of the dead. Anyway, there isn't much time. He's leaving the country before dawn. And I'm gonna follow him, of course, after I save you two. Something's been nagging at the back of my mind. Remember what Ray said to me tonight? That the spirit ceases to exist when the day breaks. It's cause he's lying! <laughs> right, chat? <laughs> How much more proof do you need? <laughs> but if that's true, how could a spirit from 10 years ago still be here? No time for thinking now, baby! Oh, that's like the Valkyrie Profile 2 model right there, or uh, motto right there. Action is the name of the game! Work your magic and take us back even further into the past. Okay. All right, man, jump in there and stop that explosion, would you? Easy enough for you to say. Foolish of you to say, too. You stop the explosion, or just do me in some other way. Fair enough. Then jump in there and take care of that man in red, would you? I repeat. Easy enough for you to say. Just fight until your hands are stinging and look for the dragon orb, exactly. Most likely impossible to boot. Huge explosion didn't even make him bat an eye. Well, what do you propose then, Profess? Ray tell? Or Prof, I guess he's said Prof. Your best bet is to save me during the explosion without him noticing. Save you during the explosion? What? Easy enough for you to say. Sheesh, what's with all these people? Anywho, jump in there and do something. It's no use. I can't open it. Did the fact the professor is standing on it have anything to do with it? It looks small, but I'm pretty heavy set. And it's so proud of that fact, too. This door. Such a pity. Too bad it doesn't open downward. Something... Sometimes life can be so hard. Wouldn't you agree, Professor? Yes, that's why we're both dead. Hmm. Where the opens downward, huh? Oh, I can ask him about the measuring device, actually. What in the world is this thing? This device has the meteorite data entered into it. Text tesmic res radiation and it responds. Got that, kid? Isn't it a lovely thing? I guess sometimes it's important not to think about things too much. Oh man, we're going full VP2. Hmm, what a sorry pair. Yeah, I guess Bird Brain is not getting a name for now either.
What is going on over here? Can't really do anything. But clearly I just have to wait. Oh, I... I wonder if this leads... If this leads outside, is it possible missile's gonna blow here? Hmm. Because we could replace the bomb with something else. I don't know what, though. Like, we could try to get it in the trash can. I don't think there's anything that's people-sized. I know, not enough rats. <laughs> we're, we're gonna do something. I mean, replacing them with dynamite seems exactly like something we would do. As you perhaps already noticed, time is running out, baby. Yeah, no perhaps about it, I know. But you know, there aren't a whole lot of things I can use my ghost tricks on in here. Looks like it's, it looks like it's all over. Unless I find another path, I'm sort of at a deadlock here. Sissel. Hey, I know that voice. Help me! Oh, are the rats playing with the leaf or something? Where are you? Find me! Where I'm carried away! Hmm? It's with a frail sounding call for help. He's here somewhere. A friend of yours. Yup, a little guy that looks a little fragile, but has a strength that, that surprised you. But he's asking you to find him. Or he's carried away, no less. But I'm almost out of time. Did I look for him? in the water. Sissel, here I am! Oh, hey, it's... Missile! What are you doing there? Do you really have to ask? Seriously, are you really going there? Uh, no, that's okay. Never mind. Anyway, I need your powers. Will you help me out? Of course! Here, let me come join you! Okay, here I am, Sissel! Maybe things will flow in a new direction. Oh, the flow of the sewer's a little bit stinky. Eight change. Okay, good. I don't have to do any of that again. Okay, let's stop that explosion! Oh! Oh, I get it. Okay, okay. I'm not sure how we're gonna do it, but... That trap door chat looks like a garbage lid. So maybe... Oh, maybe we have to, like, knock the garbage can lid so it rolls. Replace it with the tire. Then it'll bonk and go flat. And then we can replace the trap door with it so it falls through. Missile's really smart. Oh no, we can't do that. Okay, let's take care of that man in red then. No, we can't do that either. We can't do this, we can't do that. What can we do? We let the explosion happen. Then we rescue the old pigeon guy without the man in red noticing. And your powers are the key to all of it, Missile. Oh, I don't know about that, but I'll do my best. I'm talking about a matter of... Oh, we're talking about a matter of seconds. We can't miss our chance. Um... Maybe I go in the measuring device? Hmm. It's like barely. There we go. The squeaky guys are making a fuss about something. Sissel, animal insects are starting to surface. You mean you want to chase them? I think you have to be alive to do that. Hmm. Must be some kind of rat feast in the trash can. 
Those things usually make a bigger commotion than that. Bigger commotion, huh? I can swap that? Why can I swap that? What if I do this? What? Oh, because now he's able to get in. Okay, now he's able to get in. That's a lot of rats. Now that's what I'd call some proper commotion. Making that trash can dance. Truth be told, I feel like dancing now myself. In harder hard, hold my wild instincts back. What a dangerous bunch. So now it looks like the tire. That's what I want. Oh, so they're gonna go exactly flat now. So it hits zero. So I'm going to swap. There we go. I think I timed that properly. I even waited for the clock to advance a little bit, chat. Sorry, little pigeon. As for you, Inspector. Ugh. I have a little job for you. I... I can't move. I think I have... Four or five broken bones. I don't mind. It won't prevent me from manipulating you. It might hurt a little, quite... It might make it hurt a little bit when I move you, though. Quite a bit, actually. Damn you! I'm not sure how the professor- I, I don't know how the inspector survived it. <laughs> so, he, given the state of the room, it should have been much worse. Can't believe it. You lot actually pulled it off. Sorry, Inspector Cabanella. I couldn't do anything to help you. And there I am, a poor broken heap of arms and legs. But no matter, I enjoyed the show. The magic disappearing act that is nothing like it, baby. Yeah, except... Unlike a normal magic trick, I'm the one that managed to vanish without a trace here. New info has been added. I will right, look at the info. Dot dot dot. What's the matter? Look like you'd rather be dead, not that you aren't. I was just remembering the fact that right about now, the real me is giving the poor justice minister a real fright. Oh, that phone call? Yeah, he was pretty upset. Oh, excuse me, mister. You really shouldn't be mean like that. And what's this lively little creature? Oh, this little doggy is the warrior who keeps Camilla safe. Or, he would be if he was actually still full of life. Camilla! Gods in heaven, what a terrible thing! That poor little girl, taken hostage. A cruel twist of fate indeed. Wait just a minute. Miss Campbell is a hostage? Yes, we're sorry, little warrior. Miss Miss Camilla, a hostage? What's a hostage? Anyway, Inspector Cavadella, damn. That, that's how we should have been acting more. Time to save your life now. But you couldn't get very far before when you tried, am I right? But this time it's different, right, Sissel? That's right. With us working together, it's a whole different situation. We'll save the inspector in white, and then we'll go rescue Camilla, okay? Okay, let's hurry up and get through this.
Gee, kids, you're making me feel like an afterthought. All right, let's get started. Inspector Cabanel is upstairs. The first step is to get up there. This long? I'll go up first and wait for you. Okay, lovey dove. We need your help. Carry this measuring device upstairs. It's Mr. Ghost in it, so don't drop it. There we go, chat. Bird assistance. Got grit, little pigeon. Better get up there before the little pigeon strength gives out. Missile's waiting for me. I better hurry. Well, we got time. Me, the mystery, chat. Lost my life, lonely spawn the outskirts of town. I don't know who I think I am. The man I pursued thinking he was me took Lynn hostage to the park ten years ago and was hit by a meteorite and killed. Right at the target. Ba -ba 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 -ba. She was apparently manipulated into shooting me. Nothing new here. Anything else update in here? Oh, Camilla's here. Kidnapped because she's mistaken for the justice of the daughter. Her current whereabouts are unknown. Probably got an update on Missile. He's blown away on the wind, but I met up with him again when he came floating along in the sewer. I guess it's good that he didn't disintegrate or something, right, chat? He's made up with her husband and apparently doomed to dangle from the chandelier tonight. Oh, there you go. I guess we saved their marriage. She's now sleeping soundly. Maybe she's all worn out by the drama. We haven't really been able to check in on them since then. He decided to halt the execution. Cabanella bribed him to break the body of Junkyard's maintenance building basement. Corpse brought in the basement, so nothing too new here. Oh yeah, what about this character? Does he have a name, or is he just guardian of the park? Damn, there's a lot of characters with no names in this game, Chad. And who protects the park 10 years ago, he witnessed Lynn uh, being saved by a falling meteor ray. Now to protect the Rock of the Gods, and perform this miracle, will allow the park to be returned to housing. So. Pigeon Man, the fact that he was... That fact was what made him a target to be killed. Yeah, because he's examining the corpse. It just updated he's swinging in the park. So we just got confirmation that all these characters are manipulated. I'm not going to read every individual one. I'm just curious if there's anything new, like new, new here. He feels his wife's death was his punishment. Okay, so that's right there. Accidentally hit the little doggy with his motorcycle. Yeah, chat wants his character dead. We're, we're so we're so accidentally accidenting him. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these characters just don't have any names. Like, even the mother didn't have a name. Well, Oma. I think her name was Oma. But some of these other characters just don't have any names at all. Like, I don't think any of the assassins have had, like, super deep lore with them. We have, like, Beauty and... I want to call him Beast. But I don't remember. It's weird that they don't put their names in here. Do you know what I mean? But I don't think the Guardian, the Park of the Justice Minister, had a name. Man I was pursuing who was convinced was me. His true identity is the manipulator. Oh, so they are calling him the manipulator. Okay, good. <laughs> the spirit of a man who was killed by a meteor of rape fragment ten years ago. Tonight he's planning to get revenge on all the people who contributed to his death. Yeah. Making the threatening phone call to Victor Cabana lost his life here, killed the other me. The kettle machine was blown up. Phone line apparently connects to a place called the Death Chamber. There's nothing else here. Tonight, it's also Point X, the place the police are sticking out. Yeah, that hasn't been relevant in a while. Restaurant seems to be peaceful again. Lady in red. Yeah, we left them dangling on the ceiling. Room. I just want to see what our comment is about the submarine before we continue further. Apparently being controlled by someone she shot. 
Meteorite was named Temsic, and it still lies buried near a stone monument. Okay, there we go. Oh, we're not gonna... Hold on, we have updates on all that other nonsense, but we're not gonna update the parlors in a submarine. Whatever, right, chat? Whatever. <laughs> That's like the most interesting update in the entire game, and it's not in there. Whatever. There you are, Sissel. Sorry for the weight missile. Four minutes from now, the Spectre will be killed by a gun. You just jump in there and stop him from firing, would you? Oh, there you go again with that stuff. Besides, it doesn't make any sense. If you stop him from firing, he'll just find some other way to kill you. Wait a minute, that sounds familiar. Yep, same situation as mine. Best bet this time around is allow him to shoot, and then save Cabanella without him noticing. It's even worse than last time. Anywho, jump in there and do something. Okay, I'm ready to jump in, Sissel. Don't forget, whenever you want to use my powers, just touch the dog button. Touch the dog button, chat. reach anything. I guess he's got to bang his hands for me to advance. I accidentally click the dialogue, even though we definitely know what it is already. I guess I can swivel here. So I can move it without him noticing if his back is turned. Oh, did you see that? The bad Sissel turned around. If you have to call him that. But yeah, maybe this is our chance to try some ghost tricks. Hmm. I can now probably knock the helmet down. This is the only time he takes his eyes off me too. You have something to do. Do it now. Time to take the first steps towards saving the inspector. says what was that hmm um. hmm there's another hat in the room maybe I can replace this hat with the other hat? I don't know what that really does for me yet, but I guess I could always do it. Leave myself in the phone, because I could go anywhere for now. We're gonna wait for the gunshot, I guess. him back here. Oh, wait. Yeah, then he gets closer, right? Okay, good, 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 good. So now I can use the stepladder. So I can move this over to go to the other side of the room. So let's... I'm just trying to think ahead a little, so let's move. So I could probably now knock down the hat. Oh, I can examine the mi microscope and waste time. Let's do that. 
So what exactly is this thing? Looks like a giant nail clipper to me. No, it most certainly does not. An instrument used in analyzing radiation emitting matter. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I see. You're not alone, kid. None of the rest of us understand it either, baby. Yeah, you said it. Yikes, I'm a little scared right now. Why didn't he die? <coughs> Excuse me. Because he's already dead. He died 10 years ago. I knew full well he wouldn't die if I shot him. Why did you go to the trouble of shooting him at all? Time's almost up. Enough chip chat. But now the situation has changed slightly. These last split seconds are our chance. Okay, so I can make this fall. Really? I'm gonna make the hat become the bullet? <laughs> okay, I would not have thought of that originally, but sure. Why not, chat? Sure. Now I understand what it wants me to do. Unless I have to do something more. Is there a reason to doing this? I guess it makes it more bullet-esque. I guess. Well, would you look at that? Right on the hook! I love knit hats. So warm and most of all, soft. Now that I'm looking at it, that is the same shape as the helmet you just knocked down. Ha, huh, I thought so. Okay, I, I need to think about what to do here. I'm thinking we have to. swap them currently. Guess I'll just wait. Maybe the game will give me a choice. He's going to shoot. It's too late. Again, I'm going to get shot again. No, wait. Our chance is coming up. Last split second, right? Leave it to me. That's how the, oh, that's how the bullet looks? I don't, I don't think so. Right, chat? Uh, what is he shooting like a BB gun? Like, what the heck is that bullet shape? Would you look at that? Bullet is hanging in midair between the gun and the inspector's forehead. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's kind of special. Now's our chance. I'm hearing the bullet right now. Swap this little thing with something else. What? It's our only hope. There's gotta be something here within the same shape and direction as the bullet. Never saw a bullet before. Such a cute little shape, doesn't it? You can check out the bullet shape on the top screen. Which is for us is at the bottom of the screen. Okay, got it. Now I know what it's shaped like. Sure. The other guy didn't find that weird at all. Just a giant hat comes out. <laughs> what? I don't think he noticed how. <laughs> it's huge. Looks like you pulled off another magic disappearing act. More like he's blind. I think he's wearing blind glasses. Yeah, exactly. Phoenix blind. Yep, that seems right. <laughs> and now I say again, I love knit hats, so warm, most of all soft. Can't see too well with the sunglasses and doors. Yeah, I think so. Did I, did I do all right? You did a fine job, little one. You saved another life. And I'll keep doing it too. 
over and over. They diverted. What I just saw in these four minutes gave me all the answers I've been looking for. <laughs> did, did the knit hat to the face answer life's questions? <laughs> Indoors at night at that. Exactly, Chaos. Welcome, Chaos. All our research these past ten years pales in comparison. Right, Professor? So, you two were working together? Well, that's about the size of it, yeah. Who would believe a story about a manipulator? So we pursued it ourselves, just the two of us. I guess they can make it if they try, chat. Quite a crazy character myself, after all. Okay, let's hurry back. Back to our time. We have to rescue Miss Kamala. You're right, Missile. There's a certain guy I have to follow, too. That... After completing his revenge on Inspector Cabanella, the man in red left. And now a new story is about to unfold in a new present. How are you feeling, you old crazy character? Hey there, Prof. We're both alive, I see. Nothing like it, baby. But I don't know if I'm getting old or what. I've got a few aches and pains here and there. Used to be a little thing like an explosion wouldn't bother me. Yeah, right. Like I'm gonna believe that. So what? The guy in red is gone, eh? Just in case, I posted special investigation units all around the building. You're literally blown up, exactly. Let's just pray the boys came through for us. Damn it, you picked a bad time not to listen to me, body of mine. Well, it looks like both of their deaths were erased. Unfortunately, in the case of the inspector in white, I can't call it a complete success. But in any case, you still have information I need to start tracking the manipulator. Better start talking to them. Oh, we can we talk to Missile? Yeah, the more important one to talk to. All right, Sissel, so it's time to go. Out of the big wide world to rescue Miss Kamala. Hold on a minute, Missile. These clothes have blast protection? Oh no. I have to talk to these two first. Oh, well, okay. I understand. But just know one thing I go where the wind takes me. This little doggy trying to put pressure on me. Uh, I'm going to save the game in case I accidentally skip some dialogue. Also, question. Can I just leave? Oh, you can just leave. Oh, that's funny. Bye. <laughs> this might be the final chance we get to do this. Any other updates before we continue with the plot? Alright, so Ray's still not moving. Don't tell me. He ceased to exist. Alright, so now we're thinking he hasn't left, quote-unquote. We think he no longer exists. Yeah, we can't go into the submarine. The absolutely ridiculous plot twist. So it went from Lady in Red's apartment to Novelist's apartment. Looks like little girl's having sweet dreams. Meanwhile, looks like Mama's still in the middle of a nightmare. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, squeeze me tight enough to take my breath away. My darling lady, let us be free, spread our wings and fly. I think I'll edit those lines out once I'm back down on the ground. Being squeezed tight enough to take one's breath away is not as much fun as I thought. Guess the novelist is getting a lesson in reality. Well, I guess we saw more of her novel. I guess it was kind of worth coming here. Let's freak out the Justice Minister. 
Oh, he's getting his own cuts. Cutscene at least. Did I make the right decision? Can believe I let a death row inmate go free, if only for the night. Maybe I wasn't cut out to be justice minister. Oh, you become justice man. It's okay. Guess what kind of minister was I meant to be? It's like there's no end to the minister's worrying. Well, let's harass him. How's it going? What is the situation? Looks like it's all coming to an end. It is? Don't hesitate to ask if there's anything I could do. I'll even look the other way if it comes to minor illegalities. <laughs> wow, that was easy. Thank you, Mr. Minister. I'll let everybody know. <laughs> okay. Free pass, cri crime spree time, chat. What a blessing, but a little scary too. Daybreak isn't far off. It'll all be over soon. Off you go then. Leave this place to me. So is the superintendent ever going to end up... Or the police chief, excuse me. Is the police chief going to end up at a uh, prison at some point? Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park. The rock of the gods. Oh, uh, sorry. But could you do that somewhere else? I'm a little busy right now. I don't have time to talk. And let me ask you this. The Rock of the Gods, or this Camilla you mentioned. Which is more important? Please answer clearly and without reserve. Camilla, of course. Camilla, the gods! Even knowing this situation, Steen still seems pretty suspicious. So did the chief actually arrive here? Because they said he was driving here earlier. I can't take much more of this. When is that chief supposed to get here anyway? Exactly. <laughs> but my exact question was. How should I know? You're the one who talked to him, ain't you? Ugh, I feel that feeling coming on. Shall I dance? Hey, don't get me involved in this. All you have to do is say the word panic. Just say the word and I'll do it. No way. I'm not going to be responsible for that. Ah! Please, won't somebody just say the word panic to me? We'll check in on the inmates briefly. Will Curry Man ever get unstuck from the toilet? Oh, he did. Look at him dig, chat. The men who were fixing the chair are gone. But it's because the execution has been called off. Should have cleaned up a little better before they left, though. There's nothing I could do about it from here. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're gonna clean it up. Oh, we got that update, I guess. Okay, so we're almost done checking things out. Do we have anything to... Oh, yeah, I guess the phone got damaged. That's fair. So yeah, the chicken kitchen probably has had the least number of events total in the game. It's actually kind of disappointing. Right, chat? Like, we went here once for story reasons. There's nobody to eavesdrop on. We can't go, like, to the upper floor. It's probably the least used area in the whole game. Even the special investigation office, which unlocked even later than that, got more scenes than this one did. So it sounds like the chef is back. Looks like the chef is back. The sound of singing and the delicious aroma of chicken fills the air. Yeah, like, this kitchen has gotten more an update than the entire restaurant somehow.
La la la. The last chicken of the night. La la la. Cooked by me in that secret special way for me alone. The chicken kitchen will open again tomorrow to share its chicken with the world. La la la. Sure would like to try some of that chicken. And then we never will. Any comments about the Moonlit Courtyard? This also has like nothing going on in it. But to be fair, I don't expect much to actually happen here. Look one last time at the moon chat. It would be funny if going back to Kemla's house resulted in a game over. Because we were spying on the other two characters. She's like, I sense your presence. And there's boom. Game over. Anyway, let's progress with the plot. So I think we're coming up to the final chapter now. Oops. That's what I wanted to do. If I knew things were going to end up like this, I would have tried to die in that explosion, baby. That way I could have been dancing after Big Red by now. Hmm. I'd be able to erase deaths, but it's true I can't do much about injuries. But really, you shouldn't talk that way. Yes, yeah, sorry. Suppose you're right. Just hit, hate feeling so helpless. He was right there within my grasp. All our plans were resting on tonight, and then this had to happen. As he's thinking about his spotless record. Not too late, Inspector. We still have a chance. Maybe I can catch him. Say, you're right. That's not a bad idea. I'll cooperate with you fully. Go ahead and fire away with any questions you like, Mr. Ghost. Let's ask about revenge. The guy mentioned revenge. Revenge against the people who stole his life away ten years ago. Hmm. He's a fool. He's the one who made the decision to take that little girl hostage. And he wound up dead. He only has himself to blame. What about when he said this? I was murdered by all of you. Victor Joe to force me into a court. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're not gonna. If you hadn't done what you did, I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. Yes, ten years ago on that day, the Special Investigation Unit was working on a certain big case. We hauled in a young man, an important witness to our investigation. And then I did it. I made two very stupid mistakes. Give me one second, chat. Detective, I'll t I'm telling you, I don't know anything about it. Fine, fine, you're under no obligation to talk, of course. But if you don't, the Special Investigation Unit can make the rest of your life a living hell. But I... I'd just been assigned to the Special Investigation Unit, you see. They didn't share much info on big cases with a newbie like me yet, and I wanted to impress them. It's only supposed to be a matter of taking this... a simple matter of taking his statement. But I was too green. I pushed him too hard. I drove him into a corner and made him lose all hope. That was my first mistake. Then I made another mistake on top of that. Well, presumably he had to get away, right? Cavanella, got a minute? Chief wants to see you about your report. Got it, I'll be right there. You stay right here and be a good boy now. That's when I, and that's when I did it. I left it behind in the interrogation room. 
My gun. What? Wait, hold on. No, he should wait. He should be fired. What? How do you leave a gun behind in an interrogation room? Excuse me? I thought it was more like he dropped his keys without noticing or something. I thought it was going to be more normal than it. Like, oh, gee, I just, oh, just oopsie daisy got on the table. <laughs> like, what? How could you? Yeah, exactly. How could you? He used my gun to escape. What he said is true. The, if I hadn't made that mistake, he never would have had a gun to point at Lin in the first place. Oh no, no Chowders was also a star of Destiny. Udon is very confused. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with stream elements, by the way, chat. I've noticed I, I can't do any recent follow alerts. So I'm assuming something is down with their site. Because it hasn't updated since literally yesterday. At all, at any point. So hopefully it gets fixed. Like, when chat was doing all those redeems earlier through the store, they, they're they not even showing up in the history either. So something is definitely broken with stream elements. I recall making that comment yesterday, but just, just for clarity, it's, it's going to act weird for a while. So I'm not sure what will happen when it tries to copy the text of somebody that it can't find, question mark. Anyway, let's ask about the manipulator. We first found out about the manipulator's existence during a certain overseas communication. Overseas communication. For national security purposes, this country keeps tabs on the communication networks. This particular communication was about making a deal with a certain foreign country. He said he wanted them to buy him, him and his powers. That's how we first heard about him. Of course, we didn't know what he looked like at the time. In order to prove these powers of his, he gave them two predictions. We saw two completely preposterous, impossible cases. The case of a man who would sing national secrets during a live rock concert broadcast, and the case of a man who would take the chief commissioner hostage in his own office. Hmm. Those two inmates at the special prison, huh? We kept tabs on their communications and launched an investigation. And then finally, we pinpointed where they were going to meet tonight and staked it out. That restaurant, the Chicken Kitchen. The manipulator plans on leaving this country tonight on a submarine that belongs to the other country in this deal. Submarine? We haven't been able to find out where it's going to surface. It's terrifying to think what would happen if his powers were to fall into their hands. Right. Highly unlikely they'd use them for peaceful purposes. And now they have that little girl as hostage. Pamela. We have to stop him before he leaves the country. You can still try to use Budana. I'm just, it'll be kind of funny to see what it does. I mean, there are some pre-made responses, so he's not totally broken. Spotless record. Spotless record of yours. Yeah, check and try to redeem stuff in the store. I'm not sure if it's, I'm assuming it might be working. I don't know. I'm gonna put a question mark on. Anyway, the spotless record of yours. Is it really that important to you? Of course, baby! In some ways, it's more important to me than life. Whoa, this looks bad! Oh, that seems to work at least. And your life, huh? After all, it's because of my record, and I'm able to get all my hands on all intel as head of the Special Investigation Unit. And because of my position, I get to direct all aspects of the investigation into the manipulator case. Dot 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 exclamation mark. The manipulator case. That's why you cared about your record so much? Dot dot dot. Of course. Why else, baby? I just never could believe it. I'm 
I just never could believe it, man. Jode shooting Alma. I didn't care that he confessed. There's definitely something more to the story, some secret. I did everything I could to climb the ladder, everything in my power. Then I finally found the answer. It took five long years, though. The manipulator. He's going to prove that Jode is innocent. What incredible determination. Cabanella's determination. It's one thing I just don't understand. You're so determined to, to help Detective Jode. Why didn't you help him escape from prison? That's an easy one, baby. Escaping from prison is a crime. I wasn't about to help him commit a crime after spending five years trying to prove him innocent. Oh no, the flashback coordinates, exactly. And he executed... Oh, and he asked himself to be executed, you know. The man of the law had to make sure the execution was stopped legally. And that's why I brought him before the Justice Minister, too. Needed to buy as much time as I possibly could, baby. That's it, huh? There's one little unfortunate result of all of this. Lin completely misunderstood your intentions. Huh. What's a little misunderstanding? My baby will come around. Give it time. There are more important things to do with our time tonight. This is a long chapter, chat. I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of story. It got very backloaded in this game. Mr. Superintendent. You mind if I talk to you for a minute? I haven't always been a junkyard superintendent, you know. Okay, what did you used to do? I used to be part of the police. Yeah, we kind of figured that, but what did you actually do? Police, huh? Not as a detective, but as a medical examiner. Oh, okay. I was between a couple of things. I think I mentioned medical examiner the other day. So that was correct. I investigated victim's cause of death. So I imagine he was, I was about to say, I imagine he was the person that examined the body 10 years ago. That was one of the theories we talked about, I'm pretty sure, yesterday. 10 years ago, I was asked to autopsy a strange corpse, hit by a meteor fragment and died instantly. That's what the police report said. There were no signs of life. He was definitely dead. But I never filed an autopsy report. That's because the corpse suddenly vanished, leaving behind only one clue. An unusual corpse. I bet that's... An unusual corpse. I bet, I bet that's what I've been chasing all night. Could you tell me more? Yeah, sure. I have an interest in you recovering your memory and finding your true identity, too. Unusual corpse? That's the only way I could describe it, too. It was an unusual corpse. He was dead all right, no question about it. But there wasn't a scratch on him. Not a scratch. I thought he was hit by a meteorite fragment. I don't understand it any more than you do. I was completely bewildered. And when I tried to autopsy him, I was even more puzzled. I couldn't perform the autopsy. You couldn't? What do you mean? The scalpel went in, but I couldn't cut. As soon as I tried to make an incision, it would heal up in the very next instant. And that's how it went. No scarring or blood either. There you go, chat. We apparently found Wolverine or something. Never had the chance to solve the mystery. And that's because the corpse up and vanished on us. The morgue is well guarded. Nobody could have stolen that body. There's one way the corpse could have disappeared. What's that? What do you mean, what's that? It walked out. I know there's like a dramatic reveal. Like, this wasn't the obvious thing that's been happening all game, right, chat? This literally happened like 10 minutes ago in the plot. I don't know why we're confused as to what happened. It got up, opened the door, and walked out on its own. What? 
Wait, why are we? We just witnessed that like twice <laughs> in this area. He was dead, but he wasn't dead. We saw it with our own eyes tonight. Not even that explosion could kill him. Didn't even feel it when he slammed his fist on that stove. Yeah, I know exactly how unexpected. Who left behind? The corpse left behind some data from some testing I did. Not Sissel's brain went bye bye, true thing, chat. I got some readings for some kind of radiation coming off that body. Radiation? It was all kind of instruments, but I couldn't determine what kind of radiation it was. Some undiscovered type from a world unknown. Wait a minute, could it be? That's right. It's coming from that meteorite fragment. Went to the park and tested the spot where that meteorite fell. And just as I expected, I detected radiation coming from that crater. It was the exact same pattern of radiation as that corpse. At the time, I thought he was being some kind of... Oh, I thought he was some kind of immortal being. He would die only to come back to life. I wanted to research it, it all in depth, so I quit my job as the police medical examiner. Several years later, I came to learn the connection between my research and the manipulator case. Thanks to the arrival of this crazy character here. Oh, stop now, Professor. Do you want to see me blush? Cabanella's arrival. It was about a year ago, I say. This man in white came dancing into my research lab here. I heard there was an oddball who's researching Temsic. Is that you, baby? Who are you to be calling anybody an oddball? I was investigating the manipulator case then, and I heard there was a man who'd quit the police force to study the meteorite. When I heard that, it was like a meteorite had struck me on the head. Oh yeah, you feel the Phoenix Wright nature of some of these characters. Look at their suits. I love that they have the color suits even in like the sepia tone. At the start, we were just starting to get leads on this manipulator. We didn't know who he was yet. But we knew he was communicating with a certain foreign country. In one of those communications, we heard the manipulator say this. The source of my power is not of this world. And that's when I put two and two together, baby! The manipulator case and the Tempsic were somehow connected. Which also explained how five years ago he used his powers to manipulate a birthday surprise a little girl made for her mother. He added that gun to the contraption most likely by controlling Kamala. Right. So the contraption in the basement here. He built that to try and help Detective Jode. That's right. Jode and I worked together back when I was with the police force. Oh, I was thinking we were going to have some time for PSO later, but man, we're an hour and a half in and we're still on this chapter. Oh boy, chat. <laughs> Maybe this is longer than I thought. Hopefully we have enough time to complete it. I have about like another two hours. I used the reports of his case to try and recreate the device, but there was just one part of it that I couldn't reproduce no matter how hard I tried. Hamlet told Joe it did something it shouldn't have, made an impossible move. I added that part to the device I recreated, put in a part that would allow Cupid to rotate, otherwise the gun wouldn't fire. That must mean somebody manipulated Kamala's contraption. As a result, we proved to ourselves that the manipulator actually existed. 
Inspector Cabanella. Hey, baby. Sorry about that phone call. I must have sounded like a real villain. Hate to spoil your image of me. Of that cool cat inspector you always looked up to. Is that really the image she had of him? Inspector Cavanella, I'm sorry. I just heard. You were chasing after that man all this time to try and help Detective Jode. This manipulator is such a dangerous character. Hoping you didn't have to be involved. So that's why you had me arrested tonight, isn't it? Like I always say, if somebody's in the way, throw them in the slammer. <laughs> um. Oh no, chat. Wait a minute. Yikes. Yikes indeed. The night. I really thought we finally had him. But my body gave out on me right at the critical moment. It's like a cruel joke. Ha ha ha. But a joke is a joke. You might as well laugh. Jode. Mister called off the execution order. While he was at it, let Detective Joe go free until tomorrow morning, too. That's a pretty extreme while he was at it. There we go, chat. Music's picking up. The gang's all here. Sorry I took so long to get here. You can leave the rest to me. There you go again. You've always been like that. Make everybody else run around and then you swoop in at the last second. Jode. Here we go, chat. Five years ago. You left this coat with me just before you turned yourself in. I promise to give it back to you one day. Wow, Bird's super strong. Damn, it's lifted a whole trench coat. Here we go, chat. Upgraded to Gumshoe. Been waiting so long, Detective Jode. Waiting for this day to come. Thanks for not giving up on me, Lin. Okay, I'm off then. Good luck, my old friend. This present you gave me. Just what I needed. Thank you. Glad you like it. You like his giant pink shirt better, though? Damn. Sissel, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You and I have to go find that man. Need your help. Will you do this with me? Sure, but how? I don't know where the submarine is, and the phone line doesn't work. They use communication cables to make their calls. We'll get you hooked up somehow. You'll see. Could you wait here until we do, please? Okay, fine. I'm counting on you. This true self you're looking for. Bet you'll find it soon. All right, I'm leaving, Inspector Cabanella. <laughs> we're not gonna call the. We're not gonna call an ambulance or anything. We're just gonna let you basically bleed out and die here. <laughs> ah, it's some broken bones. <laughs> not able to sit upright. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, could you call the emergency services? Oh, it's almost dawn. Not who I thought I was. I'm actually further from knowing who I am than ever. But now I don't feel so alone. Each one of us, for his, his or her own, his or her own reasons, is looking for the truth. Together, I think we could shed light on these mysteries and drive away the darkness. But it's almost dawn. Yeah, there might be like a little, mostly chat-related chapter here, from my understanding, of determining how long the game is. So we're not at the true final chapter yet, but it, we're technically part of the final chapter. 4.19 a.m., chapter 16. Lynn kept her promise about getting me hooked up. But two hours before dawn, the phone rang. Pigeon Man is there and has a medical degree. Can keep Cavanella alive? Maybe. Oh, Cavanella's gone. <laughs> He's like, hello, I'll top see you. Hello? This is Jode. Sissel, are you listening? We need your powers. No time to talk. We'll be waiting for you. Is complete. Oh, 
Well, you better get going. This long night is drawing to an end. Yeah, it looks like it. Thank you for all your help tonight. I'm the one who should be thanking you. At the other end of the phone line. Finally gonna find all of my answers. I better go. Damn, it won't even let you mess around on the final chapter. They're like, yeah. A single telephone line connects me and the other Sissel. But that single line spreads out like a spider web to ensnare the fate of many people. And I just reached the center of the web. The fact it's a submarine is so outrageous. <laughs> right, chat? Just... Not, not in a million years would I have thought that was a submarine. That's like Yakuza level outlandishness. Welcome to the Yonoa. Detective Jode. Ooh, what's with the... Oh. It's not who I thought was speaking. My detective sense must have gotten rusty. I didn't even sense your presence here in the dark. That's because I switched the power to my mask off, Detective Jode. I used your phone. Hope you don't mind. Egad, never thought you'd track us here. Especially seeing as you're a death row inmate. Listen, don't question how you got in a submarine that's underwater. Just trust me, this works. I'm equally surprised about your choice of transportation. A submarine, huh? But how did you find us, my man? And even the police knew where the Yanoa was going to surface, confound it. We detectives have a little saying. If there's something you want to know about a case, ask the criminals. The bullet the man in the red was shot with had a radio transmitter in it. Oh, okay. Oh, and the other thing was a tracker. Oh, I get it now. I have a little something for you. Cabanellas given me some pretty weird presents in the past. They always prove useful. This one was a radio receiver made to look like a pocket watch. Hmm, yes. Inspector Cabanella. I hear he's an excellent investigator. By the way, where is the man in red? No, he's on the submarine somewhere. Ah, Sissel, you mean? <laughs> Just every time they slap it. You. You can relax. That's nothing but his shell. Shell, huh? His spirit isn't here right now. Most likely right about now. He's controlling your daughter. Please, I beg you, let my daughter go. If you need a hostage, take me. Just please let her go. Bah! There's something our nation needs. Sissel has it. That's all we care about, my man. Nothing else matters. However, it would appear, Sissel has underestimated us. He's left behind his precious bargaining chip here. What, is he gonna sick his own submarine? It is weird that he's on display here, so maybe he left already? Bargaining chip? Oh, that was almost really rude. I don't I don't like how that was positioned where the detective was, chat. Our nation has already researched it. This product that Sissel has to offer, the source of his powers. Yoink. What? What in the world was that? Temsic fragment. It gives spirits special powers. Now our deal with Sissel is concluded, as far as we're concerned. What are you talking about? Tisk tisk. What a mistake to make right at the most critical moment. Now then, Detective Jode. Farewell.
Of course the room detaches. Of, of course. What? What? We're going like full Looney Tunes chat with this logic. It has a detachable room. Of course it does. What? Obviously. What in the world? Whole room just vanished. Detective Jode, where did he go? What now? I think I heard an explosion somewhere. In any case, Linda Little Lady should be here somewhere. Small danger. I better find them and fast. We don't have any comments as to what we just witnessed, really? Of all the times to not get new dialogue, we're not asking things here. Uh, made his escape abandoning you know what to the sea. Change room suddenly disappeared from the rest of the room. So I guess he... I guess the masked muscle man lives with the other guy? He's now somewhere on the submarine, okay. Any last minute updates on any of these characters before we continue? Because presumably we're going to go right into a series of puzzles right after this. Will the basement contraption based on Capitano's report in order to further the investigation of Joe's case? He's a medical professional or examiner. Oh, there we go. Look, his, his image updated. They put, it's just him putting on the coat. My roommate was responsible for two murders, but his execution was called off. He sunk into the sub to rescue his daughter, but then disappeared before my eyes along with the room he was in. It still doesn't fully explain how he got on board the submarine, but whatever. The other party in the deal betrayed him and stole the fragment that was inside his body. Alright, uh, well, I, I guess we'll just continue ghost tricking. Phone isn't working anymore. Guess we can't leave the submarine. Well, I'm gonna say we're at the, oh, the missile here. So you're here, huh? It's missile! How did missile get here? Yes, I think I even remember who you are by now. Do you suppose that shock was a minute ago? No, wait, how did he get here? Can he not travel by phone lines? Because he can't manipulate objects? I have no idea, of course. I think Missile just answered my own question. I'm just a little I'm just a little sheltered apartment dog. But with my loss of memory, I can't say I'm much better. Anyway, let's hurry up and go save Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla. I think that trusty nose of yours could sniff them out. Dot dot dot. I'm sorry to say, I don't think it can. Don't think about it too hard, exactly. Why did they even bother to ask? Now I feel like a, the game is asking for me and stay, making statements accurate to my own question. But you do have the power to swap objects. Let's go find that lady detective and little lady together. You got it! Oh. Phone is working here. The telephone is ringing. Wow! Miss Campbell, I just know it. My trusty nose is practically screaming it at me. I think you'd call that more of a hunch. Anyway, let's get to the phone before it stops re ringing. You bet! Oh no, it really is giving me a turdy of flashbacks. So I can't do anything. I could swap the balls, but I don't know what the point of this would be. Hello, hello? Miss Kemla? Hello? It's no use! This black hello just doesn't like me! Yeah, there you go. Let's create a path for me, Missile. I'll come right over. You can only swap objects. Oh, there we go. Hold on a second. Is this allowed? No, but I could talk. That black hello is calling to us. Might as well just get the extra dialogue while we can. Black hello. Oh, you mean the telephone. Almost felt like 
can actually talk to Miss Camilla now. That just might be one of the perks of being dead. Anyway, let's get to that phone before the line goes dead. You bet! Hmm. I guess I'll just wait up here then, for now. So now I could get to the light here. This should create a path. Okay, we're, we're puzzling, chat. I think I just heard a little explosion in the distance. Got a bad feeling about this. Sissel, look! That black hello, it came off the hook! Uh-oh, I better answer it fast. It's like I'm in my own way here. There we go. Hello? Is anybody there? It's her, the little lady. It's Sissel, where are you? Somebody please answer. Guess she can't hear my voice. You too, huh? Oh good. I thought she was ignoring me. Somebody help me. Lynn, Lynn is. She said Lynn. Miss Lynn! We better hurry. Let's go, Sissel! Oh, might as well just go there. Oh, she's ultra dead. It's no use. Nobody's answering. There we go, chat. One, one more death before the end. Miss... Miss Kamala! And... Miss... Miss Lynn! Oh, poor Miss Lynn. Yeah, she can't seem to catch a break. Looks like another tragedy has happened. I think she should just retire from being a detective. <laughs> the rate at which she dies is kind of outrageous. Right, chat? Like, jeez. Just put, just put her behind a desk or something at most. Sorry to keep you waiting, little lady. Sissy, I knew you'd come. Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! And Missile, too. I'm so glad to see you're all right. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all right exactly. Hey, wait a minute. Missile, your voice. I think I remember hearing it somewhere before. What? My voice? Hmm, that's right. Emma is a corno, so that means she did hear Missile's voice before, when he saved her that time. So that was you, wasn't it, Missile? You're the one who saved me in the park tonight. Thank you. Miss Kamala, I'm so glad I was born your little doggy. Hey, Missile. You stay here and watch over your mistress for a while. Huh? You don't, you don't need my powers? See what I could do on my own for a while. Wow, that sounds like a dumb idea, but okay. After all, you're the only one who can protect her. No, seriously, this seems like a really dumb idea. <laughs> okay, I, I'll do it. Thank you, Missile. They're like, listen, we can't think of a puzzle involving them again. You just, you just gotta do what you can. Wonder what happened this time. Better talk to the little lady a little more, and then better do something about the detective lady. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's talk to Missile, the most important character. Sorry, I can't help right now, Sissel. I think I better stay with Miss Camilla. Yeah, that's all right. I think so too. After all, you're the only one. You're the only one that can protect her. Oh, thank you, Sissel. Yes. Could you say that again? I really like the sound of that. Yeah, maybe later. Oh boy. Talk. Can I talk to you a minute? Yes, sissy? Can you tell me what happened to you? What happened after I last saw you at your old house? Well, let's see. After that, I think I fell asleep. Wow. I woke up to the sound of an engine. She was already in the submarine by then, huh? Listen, they they, they don't want to explain how she got here. Listen, <laughs> she got here, just trust us. I thought to myself, I have to escape. 
Next thing I knew, I found myself in this big room. I was so tired, I couldn't move. And then... Camilla. Or Camilla, I guess. I was so relieved. I don't know what happened after that. She must have passed out, the poor thing. You've been through so much. You were very brave. I think Lynn's probably been through more than me. Both been brave. Ooh, I can't reach her, but we could turn the wheel. Okay, let's talk to her again. Also, Chad, I'd just like to notice a little, or make mention of a little detail that just happened there. So, when we connected with her, if you saw the kind of radiation lines that occurred while we were in that process before the screen popped up, it did match the radiation that we saw from the meteor, which I thought was neat. Inside like half a dozen times tonight, yeah, she's been more through the camera, pretty much. Oh, Cecil, you're here. Lynn, what in the world happened here? I, I don't know. Huh? I just sort of blacked out all of a sudden. Next thing I know, I was dead. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know in that case. And where's Detective Jode? Is he all right? I, I don't know. Huh? Rumi was in just disappeared all of a sudden. Now it's all making even less sense than before. After we left the super's office, we followed after the man in red. We tracked him with that radio transmitter. Inspector Cabanella fired into him with the bullet. The man in red took a boat out to sea from a small harbor on the edge of town. Detective Jonah and I managed to secretly stow away on his boat. Then we sneaked onto the submarine with him when it surfaced. Before long, the submarine dove back down again. Detective Jonah and I decided to split up. We'd take care of the telephone line, and I would look for Kamala. Found Camilla hiding here in the engine room. She'd escaped and run away here. Wow. It's quite an adventure. What happened next? I... I don't know. Huh? There's a flash of light all of a sudden. Next thing I know, I was dead. Oh boy. Sounds like it'd be quicker to see it for myself. Oh, are we actually getting a puzzle in this chapter? Interesting. Four minutes before death, 4.22 a.m. The submarine, you know, was engine room. Pamela, are you okay? There we go. Damn. Pamela with the Tommy gun? Question mark. Hello, Lynn. Or is it detective now? It's been 10 years since we last met. Are you... Are you really that man from te from the park ten years ago? Well, well. I see there's no need to introduce myself. Give Camilla back. She has nothing to do with any of this. Afraid I can't do that. This is my last chance. The phone is ringing. It's not for me. Nobody ever calls the dead. The fact that you're here means that my revenge plan has failed. Revenge plan? It didn't happen tonight, did it? His execution. Well, knowing him, I have expected as much. That's why I was waiting here like this, waiting for him to show up. Wouldn't it be just what he wanted, to be executed by his own daughter? Dot, 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 dot. Heard about ten years ago. I feel sorry about what happened to you. But revenge? Dot dot dot. Nobody could possibly know what I've... What in the world? An explosion? Uh-oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. Have I been had? Look out! Oh, that's not how I thought she would die, but sure. Revenge, huh? It's a feeling I just can't understand. Of course not, you're not him. She's right, I'm not him, am I? 
He was going to shoot Detective Joad. It's Kamala. When he came to rescue her. It's just too horrible. Dot, dot, dot. Anyway, let's bring you back to life. Again. <laughs> the protagonist is starting to get annoyed. Didn't have to add the again part. <laughs> it's very self-aware, chat. Okay. Get some hints. Let's see. The cause of death this time was that mysterious explosion. You're pretty up for a dead woman. You know how detectives love a good mystery. It's like a shot of vitamins. And what do you mean for a dead woman? Anyway, guess we should look for a way to stop that explosion. All right, let's do this thing. Finding clues is like a dose of minerals to a de detective. I'm afraid with my memory loss, I have no idea what vitamins or minerals are. Oh no, chat. Um, I can't reach anything. I guess I get on the gun? Yeah, as you can see, we literally can't reach anything. I need the character to step forward and aim the gun. Once they aim the gun, I think I can leave. I can reach the phone. Hmm. And they said there's no phone calls for us, but it probably is actually for us. Like, literally for us, which would be funny. Now I can jump here. Who's calling us? It's funny. I thought I could use the phone in the past that somebody was calling. What are you talking about? The receiver has to be off the hook first, silly. Well, don't look at me. I can't do it. I have any hands or feet right now. Somebody please answer the phone. Get something done, you have to do it yourself. Okay. I don't know what any of these do, but I guess I'll start turning valves because I got nothing better to do. Sure. Hey, we somehow managed to knock down the receiver. Sure, chat, we'll go with that. Somehow managed. Who's to say that's not how I planned it? Come on, hurry. Now's your chance to get on the phone. Might be Detective Jode. She's right. I better check it out. Hello? Is anybody there? Anybody still there? Get yourself here on the double. We're about to head out. Speak up. Why don't you answer? Anyway, come, come if you're coming. We're leaving. Um... I guess we should at least go there to see what happens. That must be true what they say. That there are restless ghosts on board. New info has been added. That does it. I promise to turn over a new leaf, Mom. Who's he calling restless ghosts? Well, it's true neither of us is really resting in peace. Anyway, it's like the sub just lost one of its crew. Hmm. Guess that means the fate of the sub has changed slightly. Sissel has underestimated us. The finest precious bargaining chip here. Okay, so we saw this before. Again, I don't like how that was positioned. <laughs> Detective Joe, what's going on there? I saw this little deal go down once before. In just a moment. Man Red is about to get his testament fragment taken away. Oh. Fine. We'll talk. I don't get it. What's happening? They decide to conclude the deal without the other party present. We're just gonna go ahead and steal the Temsic fragment. Huh? But that's... That's cheating! Dot dot dot. I think we have more important things to think about right now. Where's the Tesmic frag... Fragment going to go. Can 
imagine I can hook into it, right? Oh, I seriously can't reach it. Oh. Oh, there we go. Anything I could do? Okay, so we see him in a very goofy mini sub. I can't reach anything, right? Yeah, because I'm, I'm not any closer down here. Unless there was something I could have done before that point, like if this did something. Okay. So I'll rewind a bit then. I, maybe I was supposed to bounce the basketball, I guess? But at least we get to see this cutscene. Oh god, all the crew stuff to the bottom of this escape vehicle, maybe. Sissel, what just happened? The room just disappeared with Detective Jode in it. Don't worry, Lynn. Detective Joe can take care of himself. Anything right now is rescuing you and the little lady. I believe this is happening. Now then, I better hurry along before Sissel discovers when he's lost and comes after me. The you know it will be his coffin. May it lie buried here in the deep sea forever. Farewell, Sissel. At least we get to see this cutscene, if nothing else. So at least I, I appreciate this game over. We get more story, like where the explosion came from and all the other nonsense. I too have detachable rooms and also a room with a mini sub in it. Aha, uh -huh. so that's the cause of that giant explosion. Huh, what is? Don't tell me there's a, that's another thing you've forgotten. The torpedo, it's like... Well, you've heard of a missile before, haven't you? Yeah, sure. But a different missile comes to, comes more readily to mind. Looks like he plans to sink the submarine with that thing. This is not good. You have to do something before the torpedo is fired. Oh, so maybe there wasn't anything I could do? We can't let it launch. But what can we do? Just get to the torpedo as fast as we can. If you can find a way to stop it somehow. Somehow. True detective never gives up. Well, we certainly just can't ignore it. I probably missed my window of opportunity. Was I supposed to do something here? Like... It's their time, it's gonna launch. It's no use, there's nothing we could do from here. There goes the missile. Now there's really nothing we could do. Well, if only our missile was here right now. Exactly! Could he try to take it head on for us? Yeah, I bet he would. Hmm, looks like we better rethink the whole thing. Yeah, like this would have been solvable with missile. This is BS. Alright, we'll let it game over. I must have missed something that I could do. I'll just let it game over. I'm just gonna put lots of question marks on the board like what I don't know what it wanted me to do there clearly I was supposed to get missile somehow but I didn't see missile yeah let's do after pay change I think we did everything right here I don't think we could have gotten on the cosmic core it was looking like we maybe could have
I am so lost what it wants me to do, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, now it lets me do it without me viewing the cutscene? Whatever. Didn't it force me in a cutscene before? Maybe because it's like too late. Maybe I can get in the Temsic thing then. Try to time it here. I could just barely get to it. Maybe he was giving me the cutscene because I didn't do it early enough or something. Mm -hmm. Is it, it looked like I should be able to do that. It's just, yeah, whatever. Alright, so something different now that I'm here. Nothing changed here, but I am in a different position to maybe reach the torpedo this time. It really sucks we have to sit through this cutscene, though. Right, chat? I like the idea of it, but, like, this should have been skippable, 100%. Do you know what I mean? Like, kind of brutal. And I can't skip this either, even though I got the game over on purpose to see if we could skip this. How unfortunate. Hi. Yes, I know, I know. We already went through this. So what do I do differently here? I can lower this, sure. Really. Well, I'm on the torpedo, and then it cutscene me into here. Just something we could do, I hope. Why was I hope that the- okay. It's fine. Let's see if we could do something, chat. Or not. What? 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 <laughs> okay, we're 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 going into abstract. I just my brain can't process this chat. It's like I, I'm waking up. We're now inside a torpedo with a rat inside for some reason. Man, the rats just have like the worst luck in this game. Came along for the ride without giving it too much thought. Was this really the best move? I think so. Just have to keep it from going off, right? I'm sure this poor little rat will thank us too. How in the world did it get in here? I have so many questions. Do you know how a torpedo works? <laughs> Ghost trick of all the things that we could have been doing for the final-ish chapter. Not in a million years would I have predicted we're in a tornado to sa or torpedo to save a rat. Not in a million years would I have guessed this. No, I can say I can't say I do. Wow, Detective Short know a lot. Well, I'm assuming that's the big red button I don't want it to press. So it explained once in a book. An impact. The fuse in the tip is depressed. That in turn sets off the detonator. Detonator, huh? That must be the red button. How do we stop it? Hmm. I didn't explain anything about that in the book. Wow, detectives sure know a lot. Or not. I think these outside parts are supposed to be some kind of weights. The spinning black things, right? Apparently, their spinning helps the torpedo maintain its balance. It must be pretty heavy. Or if we could use the weights to our advantage somehow. I have no idea what's going on. Can I do this, though? Flip the rat. Uh, great, we dumped the little creature off. Wow, those weights are heavy enough to turn the whole torpedo over. Now for that safety device. But, but why would it... Okay. There. 
We clamped the safety device on. We did it. That should keep the tornado from exploding. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I, I have no idea what's going on anymore, chat. We're, we're going into like some Looney Tunes-esque world. There's just one problem. Problem? What's that? The tornado's still going to impact. We can't do anything about that. Uh-oh. Huh? Hmm, looks like the torpedo still hit the submarine. It looks like the submarine's still okay. Wait, how did that work? Did it, like, loop on itself? <laughs> like, like, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. The submarines were fired from the front of the submarine, and then they hit the back of the submarine? Is that what just happened? <laughs> my, brain, my brain can't process this chat. I'm just like... I'm like, wait a minute, this makes even less sense than I thought it did. That's something. What are the physics in this world? I have no idea. Looks like the submarine's still okay. This changes everybody's fate, including that little rat's. Sissel, we did it. Fate averted. Dot 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 indeed. What's the matter? You still look unhappy. No, I'm just really confused. We stopped the torpedo from blowing up. These torpedoes are really advanced or something, I know. But we still opened up a gaping hole in the submarine. Mm, you're right, I guess. I guess that's just what missiles do. They're unstoppable. Huh? Am I hearing things? Anyway, I guess we better get back to the present as quickly as we can. Right. I'm worried about Kamala. We managed to stop death for now, but it hasn't disappeared altogether. It's now slowly but surely filling the room. Uh-oh. What are seeping in through the hole where the torpedo hit? Gotta get them out of here. Better go meet up with Lin. Lights went out, but apparently the machine still works. Okay. Unfortunately, I guess it won't run for very long. Maybe I can use its movements to help me create a path. Wow, we are getting all sorts of puzzles today, right, chat? Holy. Better hurry over to Lynn. It's not safe to stay here. I have the power to stop that water from coming in. I did it too slow, I think. Yeah, I did it too slow. I gotta do like this and then this. Oh, come on, I missed the button, seriously. That really sucks. That feeling when you know what to do, but it's like a stupid timing thing that requires me to hit two different sides of the screen. Actually really sucks, unless this can get me the rest of the way. No, it won't. Timing puzzle. Why does it not let me go strict right away? That time that wasn't me. I swear that wasn't me. It didn't take the input. I 100% I hit the Agent Ghost. Get out of here. There we go. Wow, that was really finicky. There we go. Like, that, that was not a big window to interact, and the fact that it also just didn't seem to take it, like, as soon as I could turn it on. Speaking of which, can I turn on the flashlight just so she can find me? Oh, nope, never mind. Lynn? Pamela, you're awake. How do you feel? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I pointed that gun at you. Don't worry about that. That wasn't you. It's Kamala! Oh, Missile, you're here. Oh, poor Miss Kamala. Miss Lynn, what should we do? We have to get out of here before any more water comes in. Sissel should be along any second. I knew Sissy would come. And Missy is here too. I'm so happy everybody's gonna be with me now. And kaboom. <laughs> right, Chad, just kaboom. So... 
Camilla! Miss Camilla! I'm waiting to see some horrible monstrosity that's supposed to be the new body for the other character. Because I'm thinking that's why he did the deal. Is he just got tired of his other body? We'll get you out of here. If it's the last thing I do... She dies again. Oh, I think I'm gonna cry. Or whimper, as the case may be. I just sent a signal to Lynn that I'm here, before it's too late. Dialogue. Okay. I said to get you out of here, Camilla. If it's so dark, I can barely see. Now what? Out of ideas already? I think she's asking for my help. I should send her a signal. Oh, look at that flashlight. It's Sissel, he's here. Up you go. Oh boy, chat. Are we doing an escort mission for the final chapter? This is gonna be brutal. I'm expecting many resets, chat, at this point. <laughs> but I'm glad you're here, Sissel. Sorry for the wait. Looks like this room is gonna fill up with water fast. Better get out. We better get out that door as quickly as we can. Don't be getting out that door, I'm afraid. Water pressure is too great already. I can't open it. What? What does water pressure mean? Think of it as the force of the water holding the door closed. Water level keeps getting higher and higher in here. So the only way out of here is up, huh? Exactly. Okay, got it. Let's look for a path that goes up. Hey, look at that ladder. What if we could get it down somehow? Good idea. Let's try it. Oh, and by the way. Yes? I can't swim. Neither can Camilla. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> No! <laughs> this is gonna be the final chapter. Making her go up a submarine with a time limit if she just dies if she's in water. Don't you have any good news for me? Mm, let me think about it. In the meantime, could you hurry, please? Wow, this sucks. Let's talk to her briefly. There must be a switch or something somewhere that lowers the ladder. Provided the person who designed the sub didn't miscalculate the ladder length. Didn't even consider that possibility. Also, chat, this is a long chapter. Holy. <laughs> right? Like, we're not even at, quote unquote, the final chapter yet. I have to warn you. I can't swim. Neither can Kamala. Hmm. Yeah, you already told me. Um... Wait, I can turn off the flashlight? That's funny. Better leave the flashlight on. Turn it off now. Lin won't be able to see. So what do you want me to do exactly? I can turn this, but I don't think it did anything, right? Oh, maybe it'll knock the glove off. Okay, now I understand. I feel like I'm gonna try to open the door. Can't open it. I'll leave it to your Supreme Strength Detective. Okay, can move a hook around. Can open the fuse box, which seem to do anything for us. Can I do this? Oh, I was trying to smack it. Maybe I have to smack it like here. I, I'm, I'm assuming I have to hit it with something. I just don't know what order of operations it wants me to do. I'm gonna wait for it to get stuck and then hit it again. No, is that not what it wants me to do? I'm gonna move to see if I can hit the other thing without manipulating this. Double check. No, I can't reach that. I imagine, as I said before, it's a timing thing, but I don't know quite what it wants me to do. Like, I thought I would smack the chain, right, to get it loose. It's like, I could just barely not reach the other glove. Like, if I do this, is there something else I could do with this that I'm not seeing? Hmm. do 
this and then do this? No, it doesn't interact with it at all. Okay, I don't know what you want me to do, game. What is this? Oh, wait, I can reach this now. Disregard. I thought I couldn't reach it earlier. I th oh, because I think as I try from the glove, that's why. Alright, so we don't need to worry about that for now. What does this do? Alright, lowers the ladder. You did it, Sissel, thanks! Really? Why did she go that way? What was that? Looks like water seeping in is the only thing we have to worry about. Huh? Thistle, the flashlight doesn't work anymore. Hey, don't get mad at me. The contacts are bad or something. Hey, I know. You can fix it with your powers. Okay, now that's just taking things too far. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, great. You used to be an electrician in your past life or something? That's a cruel question, considering the circumstances. Now all we have to do... Let's get to that door and we're safe. Okay, what BS is about to happen? Oh. She threw us. Okay. Ow. So we're in a climbing puzzle now? Literally? Okay. Ow. What happened now? Looks like the submarine decided to rear up on its hind legs. Can't believe we're still okay after that fall. Either we're really lucky, or we're dead and we just haven't realized it yet. Come on now. As if the latter could be true. What now? Water sure is rising fast. Come on. Does it have to go up? Up to the top. Let's see how I can help with my ghost tricks. Oh boy. Where did they throw us? Okay, we're down here. Well, I think I see a familiar flame over there. Sissel, there you are. How's it going? How's it going? It seems going pretty badly. You do understand how dangerous the situation is, don't you? Of course, after all. Just ask anybody who knows me how much I hate taking a bath. Maybe he's been in danger of drowning before himself. Okay. Ready to create a path for these ladies? Of course! Oh boy, chat. We're getting into some complex puzzles. Let's see. What do we do? I don't know if doing that does anything for us. Am I might not? Interesting. So I can't jump to things that are similar, which is kind of annoying. Don't know if this does anything. I don't think it does. So what did that do for me? I did all this just to get up here. Oh, maybe it, I need another wheel or something? Yeah, this area is ridiculously big. Kind of unfortunate. That's not what I wanted. Alright, so maybe if I could get this wheel further down, this will work? It's like, I, I can't do anything other than swap. Like, I can swap things around a little bit. I could do something like this. But does that do anything for me?
Hey, Sissel, what do we do? I'm ready. There's a little dog he's raring to go after his rest. I have to create a path that will get Lin up to the top and fast. Look for anything and everything we can move and try things out. How about if we tip the whole submarine? If we could do that, there wouldn't be any problem. Hmm. Well, in any case, I'm ready and wearing to go. Hmm. Yeah, so now we're kind of at the point where I just don't know what to do. So we're just going to try things, I guess. I don't even see what the solution is looking at this. Oh, interesting. I can't go up higher anymore. Oh, no, I can. I can. So, like, what could, like, we could swap these things, but I don't know what the point of that is. Like, obviously, the goal is to get up here, move the chain down, and she's able to go up. But, like, what else can we do with missile? Hmm. Definitely a big old question mark for me, chat. Um, I wish there's a way to look around without advancing time. Because, like, I can't reach anything. I guess I could talk to her briefly. Go up is easier said than done when I'm holding Kamala. Hmm. I know. We're going to try to create a path for you somehow. Water just keeps on rising. Please hurry. Oh, and by the way, did I ever tell you? You can't swim. Neither can Kamala. Oops, I already said that, didn't I? Okay, well, good luck. Okay. Um... We have the large fan on the bottom. Does it matter if these are like this? Like, would that make it easier to reach? I, I don't know. Alright, so something presumably has to happen where I can get some distance. Oh, is she gonna pick us up? Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Because I was like, there is literally... I have no idea how we're gonna do anything. There we go. So in my defense, I had to let the time advance because I'm like, there's no way. I didn't no idea what to do. All right, so we could kind of go around here. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I can manipulate the order of these to climb. Hmm. I still can't do anything with that, really. Just to make sure I'm not blocking myself. We'll try one more time. Okay. Alright, chat. Well, I mean, we made progress, but... Is there some kind of... Oh, I can operate something. Oh, maybe what I can do is... Let's, let's put them, like, big to small. Maybe that's what it wants us to do. So I'm assuming what I need to do is... Now operate this. Oh, game, please. No, 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 don't... Don't... But seen me. Oh, that's not at all how I thought that was gonna work. There, how about that? Wow, this is great. You made a staircase for me. Better hurry. I think that water's gonna wait for you. Alright, not at all what I thought was about to happen, but sure. I don't know if the order of the fans mattered at all, but I guess we did something. There we go. <laughs> what a very specific amount of water uh, just entered the room. 
All right, so now these matter. I'm gonna have to do a lot of swaps. Now oh, this team is getting in the way. It's too hot to get through. What? There's no way to go around either. Think you could do something? Of course we can. We have to. Okay. I still don't get what to do here. Maybe I have to operate one more time and then quick swap. If you make me miss this timing game, I'm going to be very, very upset with you. <laughs> Chad, like, you have no idea how upset I am that I have to do a timing minigame here. Alright, uh, so let's get him back up. So I don't have to deal with this again. Okay. So close. Seriously? Oh, okay, I can reach this. So I could turn this. By closing this valve, I'll shut off the steam flow to the first pipe. Alright, so... We'll talk again here. Get extra dialogue. Look at poor Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla. They're mystified. Huh? I don't get it. Anyway, I think we're gonna need your powers here. You do something about those steam pipes fast. Leave it to me! We'll demystify this situation in no time! Careful there, little doggy. Don't get overconfident. Try going up. There must be something I could do, too. Okay, so we know that there was a valve up here, so let's move over here. Hmm. Can't quite go higher. Interesting. What do I do? Look at this, if I swap the pipes... Change just how the steam comes out, huh? Oh, I get it, because the cracks in each pipe are different, right? Each pipe sprays out a steam in a different way, huh? But that will come in handy. Um... Is there a way to tell looking at the graphics? <laughs> right, Chad? Like, when I look at this, I don't get it... I don't get a sense of where it flows out. That one only goes downwards. Maybe we could do something like this. Yeah. There, how does that look? Looks great. All that horrible steam is cleared out of the way. Honestly, Chad, I just guessed. I, to, when I looked at it, I'm like, I visually did not understand where the steam would come out. I'm gonna be real with you. Okay, it's not far now. Try to move forward. Ouch. Hmm. Look up there. We can just make it to that door. We can escape. Now how in the world am I going to get up there? Don't yell at me. You want to yell? You can yell at me. Missile. I'm going to yell at you when you're so sweet about it. Uh, I think you just did. Let's look for something to pull Miss Lynn up with. Yes. Something to whisk Miss Lynn up and glide her ever so gently to the top. Hey, are you being sarcastic? Uh, okay. Well, we know our goal is to get to this. We can use the fuse box to go upwards. So what, if anything, do I need to do now? Oh. Nothing. That's easy. That was the most straightforward part so far, right, chat? <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. I was worried it would be like some weird nonsense. I have to spin the valve and do all these other things. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. Okay, rise away. That is plunger. I know, chat. That was like surprisingly merciful. 
I just like to state, chat, that we have not saved in an eternity, by the way. This better be a checkpoint. <laughs> it's just a long puzzle. No lighting around on fire and swinging around the room this time, exactly. Sorry, I can't open it. Oh, can't do it. Open it, hurry. Not any way to ask for something. Oh, really? Seriously? There is more that I have to do? Does this work? It's no use. Can't budge it. It must be stuck. Oh, no. No! This way. I'm sorry, what? 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 <laughs> is is that the new body of the other red suited guy? Is he some kind of like weird robot abomination? <laughs> what the heck was special. that? Yeah, what just happened? I can't believe my eyes either, game. Lynn and the little lady suddenly vanished, leaving only really darkness and seawater. What? The submarine continues to sink down. Down into the deep, deep ocean. Oh my gosh, what are we witnessing? I still want to try and make my way up as far as possible. I still want to head up to find a single ray of light. Uh-oh, a single ray, you could say, from earlier. Light to eliminate the truth at the bottom of this deep, dark darkness. Poor Ray, Rip Ray. Who I still think is the dog from the future somehow, question mark. Yes, thank you. We definitely did. We needed the save here. Okay, we're gonna try to beat the game here, chat. I thought we would have been done by like 12 minutes ago, so we're we're going in overtime, chat. Chapter 17, 5, 10 a.m. The up in its submarine continues to sink slowly but surely. A long, long journey to the bottom of the sea. These are like by far the longest chapters in the game so far. Lynn and the little lady found the darkness and the salt water closing in on them. The very last second, something saved them. Now it looks down at them quietly. There's a checkpoint after the fans. Good to know. The head is filled with one giant question. When the world is this thing? Ah! There we go. I gotta put the sunglasses on so you know who it is. I see you managed to survive, detective. <laughs> Chat, this is not at all where the game is going. It, it, listen, I can predict logical things. I, I can't predict this kind of stuff. <laughs> it's just like, just my brain, my brain can't handle whatever it is we're looking at. Hey, you're... Excuse my appearance. I seem to have lost my body. This is so you're looking well, exactly. Oh, and you there. You're the ghost who's been saving Lin all evening, aren't you? You knew about me all along? I mean, like, come on, it was kind of obvious. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, please. When, when your gun shoots out a giant felt hat, I would only hope he notices, right, chat? One would only hope. What are you talking about? This clearly totally logical and normal. Funky looking robot monster or master, something like that. Yeah, we now have Sissel Man. Power of confusion. Of course, what else would explain all those unnatural things happening? You knew. How come you didn't do anything about it all this time? Actually, that kind of opens up a plot hole, because if we try to mess with him, he just actively kills the other person. So did he seriously not realize the, the felt hat thing? Like, one of the most obvious things ever? Like, you shot a felt hat at him. How do you not notice? I understand maybe the professor being saved. Arguably, he might not have seen it in the split second, but he just got felt hatted in the face. <laughs> Whatever. How come he decided to save us all of a sudden? But you wanted to get revenge on us. Dot, dot, dot. I don't really know. Please, you gotta tell me. I need to know. There we go, the sunglasses. Who in the world are you? Sissel, look at you. What happened? I can't hold on to that image of myself any longer. You can't remember who you are. 
That's right. Came all this way tonight, trying to ch chase down my lost memory. Quite a bit of tonight. I thought I was you, Sissel. Sissel? My name isn't Sissel. There we go. Are we gonna get the reveal? What is the antagonist's name? I bet you'll remember really soon. Oh, what a tease. <laughs> what an actual tease. So, I'm guessing Sissel is the name of the cat. I'm guessing from earlier. But it's like... Why won't they just tell us? <laughs> Who you are, and who I am, too. What? I know, chat. The man in front of me is not me. I'm even further away from the truth. Or maybe not. Something is stirring in my mind. A memory about to emerge. Like, why doesn't the antagonist say his real name? Like, what's stopping him here? Do I know this man? Now I've, now I've shut my image of myself. I feel like I'm one step closer to the truth. So we have not Sissel and not not Sissel, exactly. Just casually having a conversation at the bottom of the ocean. Submarine is totally tanked. They got us good. It's all over for the submarine. Its engine room is destroyed. There's a hole in the hull and it's sinking as we speak. What are you doing here? Why do you want to deal with those people? They betrayed me. I was a fool to trust them. They already have what they wanted now. The Temsic fragment. I didn't know they had it all figured out. You mean... They figured out the source of your powers? Yeah. Meteorite's radiation has two effects on living creatures. It gives power and time. If you don't mind, we'd like to hear more. <laughs> sure, let's just have this conversation now. Radiation's power effect. These ten years, I've been watching that junkyard superintendent do his research. And I think I've kind of got some of it figured out. Meteorite's radiation gives spirit special powers. Like possessing and manipulating objects. And in my case, swapping objects! Exactly. Apparently there are individual differences in the powers we get. It seems these powers change as time goes by. They do? Yeah. My powers have changed over these past ten years. At first, I can only manipulate small living creatures. Now then, how do you suppose we got these powers? It's simple. It is? How then? In a nutshell. We died while exposed to the energy emitted by the meteorite. It's radiation. That's what it- that's what does it? Dying while being exposed to the radiation? On that day, ten years ago. I still think we're gonna go back in time and prevent this death. Given that he mentioned time again. A fragment of that meteorite pierced my heart, and I died. So of course, I received special powers. Of course! Hey, wait a minute! Is that how I got my powers, too? You know, you might be right. Yeah, don't, don't show the dog getting run over again. Jeez. <laughs> so messed up. <laughs> Game, you didn't have to recap. You, you could have just gone to this scene. <laughs> you, just, you didn't have to show the motorcycle again. Aren't the Temsic re remnants still right there in the park at the bottom of the crater? You're right. So that must mean I must have died in the presence of the meteorite's radiation too. Okay, I was trying to figure out when the cat died. Now I think I understand. So I think what happened... If we're going backwards in the plot events, I was trying to determine how long the cat had been dead, and I don't think we talked about a theory on this. So I think when she had the gun and shot the shell... No, wait, no. Because the cat was in the suitcase already. Wait, never mind. Scrub that. I'm not sure how the cat ended up in the suitcase. Because that, that's what was in it. So the cat definitely died. Unless the cat got shot unintentionally earlier. Because I was thinking when she got possessed and shot him, that maybe the cat was with him at the time. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll, we'll scrub that thought for now. The radiation's time effect. Now their effect the meteorite's radi radiation has given on us is that it gives us time. Again, I think this time effect is centered around the theme of death. But it's not all that clear. The fact I could return to four minutes before a person's death. 
Is that another effect of the meteorite? Dot dot dot. One of the characteristics of the meteorite is its ability to replay the moment of death. Replay the moment of death? Ah, oh, this is also strange and confusing. I can't take it all in. It makes about as much sense to me as anything else. Yes, strange and confusing. That about sums up the object that pierced my body that day. Thanks to that meteorite fragment. My very existence is a contradiction. What do you mean? Go to revenge. Before I left this country, I wanted to do one thing. I wanted to get revenge on the people who stole our lives. Our lives? It's part of the deal. I made those guys promise to cooperate. Cooperate? You mean the kidnapping? I was gonna say, maybe the cat died in the original incident. I was trying to place where it when exactly it happened. I was thinking it was either in the junkyard or 10 years ago. So maybe it's alluding to 10 years ago. Anyway, let's read it again. Cooperate. You mean the kidnapping? Because I, I think the detective may or may not have shot, so he could have killed the cat at that point. Technically? Maybe? It all went fine. Manipulated the justice minister and made him issue the execution order. But I thought he might call off the execution at the last second. So that's why you wanted his daughter kidnapped. But they kidnapped the wrong girl. Little did I know. They had their own reasons for cooperating with me. Huh? Their objectives was to wipe out everybody who had to do with Temsic. Detective Jode was one such person. They're happy to cooperate. Inspector Cabanel and that junkyard super. They were slated to be wiped out too. And as it turns out... I was one of their targets as well. So they stole my Temsic fragment, and here I am. They had one more final target. You, detective. Me? Contra contradictory existence. That day. When the fragment pierced my heart, I lost my life. However, as it remained inside of me, the fragment continued to constantly regenerate my body. In other words, my body was continuously cycling between the moments that separated my life and death. What? My body's vital function stopped ten years ago, but my body's time is perpetually stopped at the moment just before death. Oh, okay, so we're, we're definitely go, gonna go back in time and stop his death somehow. That, that's pretty much confirmed. That right there, that's the... Ding, ding, ding. We got confirmation, finally. Time just stopped, huh? No, I just simply existed. Not really alive and not really dead. That pretty much sums up these last ten years for me. Ever since the incident in the park. My body hasn't aged a day. My hair hasn't grown an inch. Come to think of it, that old Pinja guy mentioned something. He said he couldn't cut this guy's body with a scalpel. So I guess, as soon as the incision was made, his body would be regenerated. Wow. One final target. You weren't there in the park that day ten years ago. I never would have thought of doing something as stupid as taking a hostage. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the only response you can give to that, honestly. I was just a little kid playing in the park. Yeah, you better dot 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 that antagonist. Yeah, I know. Huh? Ten years later, you become a detective looking into Jode's case. Tonight, I invited you to a quiet spot on the edge of town. It was a trap, you see. You're just so kidnappable, I couldn't help it, pretty much. And we know the cat isn't the case here, so maybe the cat died in the original incident, too? I don't really know. I told you who I was. Never saw my face that day ten years ago. Of course, you didn't recognize me. Yeah, like, there's only two things that could have happened. The cat died in the original incident, the cat is alive here, and the game didn't show us what was originally in the suitcase or something. Because it's possible we are here and alive. 
because we were just waking up here. So I, I would still defer that it would make more sense for it to be here. But either way, I think we got shot, chat, <laughs> because what it comes down to. I don't think our death, our, our method of death has changed. Of course, you didn't recognize me. Took possession of you to make you shoot me. Uh, so let's see if we get the reveal. Your subconscious resisted me. Such incredible power. It's the first time I wasn't able to control somebody completely. Oh, d oh, that's right. She shot the ground first. Oh, maybe she shot the cat because it was in the suitcase. Oh, okay, that answers. I forgot that happened. See, like, if you draw a line between the gun and the suitcase, now it makes sense. Okay. So, never mind. We were in the suitcase the whole time. I, I was trying to, I forgot she misfired the first time. It's been a while since we did this cutscene. Now it makes sense. Because we know the cat came out of the suitcase. Yeah, so she did kill us. So we did find our killer, funny enough. The junkyard was equipped with security cameras. I knew you'd be wanted for murder. That was my plan anyway. They had other ideas. They simply wanted you wiped out. But then, something threw a big monkey wrench into their scheme. I showed up. Or, excuse me, I showed up because we thought about it. I was supposed to meet up with them after that, but then something went wrong. What happened? My body disappeared. Aha, the inspector in white was responsible for that one. Everything changed when the blue man group attacked? Oh no. My precious bargaining chip was in that nation. I was gonna say, I was gonna say when the blue man nation attacked, but might be more accurate. Given that literally everybody's from that other country. My precious bargaining chip was in that body. I had to get it back, no matter what. That inspector caused me no end of trouble. But why were those people targeting me? Never even heard of the Temsic meteorite. As you were looking into the Jode case, they thought you would find out about Temsic sooner or later. Okay. Oh dear, indeed. And that pretty much... And that's pretty much the whole story. The only thing left to do now is wait for the water pressure to crush the submarine. Oh no! There are no cores that link from here to the water surface. I have an idea. We can hook up the phone line and... There are no communication cables down this deep. They meant for the submarine to be my coffin. A coffin for the dead. There's no escape. Dot dot dot. I think I kind of understand now. What you've been feeling these ten years. You what? This feeling. Cut off from the world, all alone in a submarine. Sinking slowly towards the bottom of an endless sea. This must be how you felt all along. Dot dot dot. Lynn? Pamela! Is it true? We're stuck here? What? Oh, uh... My dad... My dad was here. I bet he'd save us. I mean, he still might. You never know. That ridiculous room could just come back. I mean, we have to be able to get to his body eventually to undo things. To get our ending. So at some point, we have to somehow meet up with the other room. Well, Campbell, I'm so sorry. Hmm, that's funny. What is it, Sissel? There's something I don't understand. Why would they go through the trouble of detaching the control room? What? Why didn't they just steal the Temsic fragment and escape if that's what they wanted? 
Why did they have to jettison your body off into the sea? Hmm. That's a good question. But I guess it doesn't matter why now. We'll never find it again. We have no idea where it was launched to. Wait a minute. Yes, we do. Oh, she has it? This will tell us where Detective Joad is. The present from the Inspector in White. That's right. Detective Joad told me to hold on to it for him. That bullet is still in the person's body in the command room, right? And we should be able to tell exactly where it is with this. But, how do you find out where it is? How do we get there? We should be able to figure something out between the three of us. With our powers. Right, Miss Lynn? Oh, we're gonna get a third power? Right? Oh, wait a minute. What about a torpedo? Torpedo? <laughs> we're gonna- We're gonna torpedo the room the other people are in? <laughs> wait, that just sounds like we're gonna kill them. <laughs> I, I don't know if we thought this through. In any case, it's way too early to give up. Hmm, looks like Detective Joan is our last hope. Come on, let's get started. Okay. Oh, he doesn't have a note on him, interestingly. Let's talk. So my dad isn't here on the submarine? Don't worry, we're gonna go get him right now. Oh, okay. Hope I didn't hurt Lynn's feelings. What I said about my dad saving us if he was here. Oh, don't worry about that. Comments like that just roll right off Miss Lynn's back. She's really thick-skinned. Ouch. I'm gonna start being tougher, too. I want to make my dad proud of me. Miss Kamala. I'm sure your dad is very proud of you, Kamala. I talked to the missile. Chat's favorite character. Okay, what do we do now? We go find the command room that was launched somewhere into the sea. Also give me a chat. There we go. I got something to add for later. What? How? Just, just to let you know, I don't like water very much. According to Lin, you know our plan is a torpedo. Kind of a missile. Missile? You have a missile right here! I don't think she's talking about that kind of missile. Now then, where did we see another miss <coughs> torpedo? Okay. Talk to her real quick. So his shell is definitely there in the command room, right? Just with the fragment? It's there, yeah, but I don't know about calling it a shell. Detective Joe's watch will tell us exactly where it is. Right. He said it was a radio receiver, didn't he? Might still be another torpedo on this submarine. If we use it, we could get to Detective Joe. It's a brilliant plan, Detective. You think so? Haha! <laughs> what are you gonna do? Ride on top of the torpedo? Of course not. You guys are gonna go. Darn. Kinda wanted to see that. Did you want to see me drown? Okay. What a truly outrageous contraption. Why is this machine shoving grapes at me? Well, this looks like the private chain private cabin at the top off Oh, excuse me. Try this again. Well, this looks like the private cabin of the top officer, doesn't it? This machine is probably for feeding him grapes while he lies in bed. Whoa, it sounds heavenly! I've been thinking about this for a while now. Don't you think the country's use of technology is just a little off? Says the guy who made a deal with said country. Anyway, looks like the arm of this machine's a bit busted. Dial a phone chat. Calling all torpedo rooms. Torpedo room, huh? There may be another torpedo left there. I'll go check it out. Oh, I get it. We can use a missile to ram the control room. Well, I don't know about ram. I'm gonna blow Detective Joe up, but something like that. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm still not understanding how we're gonna just, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure this will be full of shenanigans. We'll climb up to the torpedo room too. Up is definitely safer. Okay, I'll see you there then. Oh. You got here pretty easily, actually. Looks like the torpedoes can be launched manually with these switches. There are two tubes, so there should be one more left. I guess the first thing we should do is load it into the tube. When it comes to missiles, you can count on me! Launch of the coordinates of the command room into the torpedo. <laughs> Just shoot him! Shoot him down, chat! Okay, so from what I remember, one of the switches did work and one didn't work. 
So I'm probably gonna have to switch which switch works, if I had to guess. I just turned on the backup power. Would it be able to use the switches now? Okay, let's try it. Okay, good luck. I'm just gonna do it preemptively if we're allowed to. Oh, I'll talk to you again, I guess. How's it going there? Just calculating the command room's coordinates now. Put in a slight offset, though. Don't want it to... Don't want to blow it up. I'm sure Detective Jode would appreciate that. Well, leave this to me. Good luck with loading the missile. Okay, thanks. Talk to missile. What happened to these two ladies? I think that's up to us and our powers. What? Is it time, no time to be standing around unsure of ourselves? Will you lend me your strength, missile? Me? Of course I will. Count on it. Okay. Let's swap them, because we know the bottom one didn't work. Now when I do this, the top one should open. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, well... I meant to say center one. I don't know why I said top there. There we go. The torpedo looks serviceable. I'll set on this end, too. Something's odd. <laughs> Only something? That the last hour has been like an absolute trip, honestly. <laughs> what is... The command room. Looks like it's slowly sinking. Sinking? Yeah, like it's completely run out of power. I wonder what happened. I don't know, but I guess I'll find out. Right. Okay, hop into the missile. I'll launch it for you. Okay, thanks. There we go, chat. I've already set the torpedo's course. It'll head towards the command room where Detective Jode is. All seconds after launching, it will pass by the command room in, for an instant. That instant will be your window of opportunity to jump over to the command room. And then we have no nodes. <laughs> and we just, we just explode and just game over. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> like after all, there's just bonk. <laughs> just... Oops, where she got the coordinates wrong. It's all over. Okay, got it. And we'll find a way to come back and save you. That'll probably be my last task tonight. Just hold on until we get back. Oh man, chat. Okay, come on, missile. Missile dot dot dots. Missile? Hi. I'm sorry, I can't go. Yeah, he doesn't like water. What? I just can't. How could I leave? I can't leave Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla behind. I can't do it. Missile. I thought the switches so the missile could be launched. You have to do the rest, Sissle. Dot, dot, dot. Can't do it either. Yes, you can. Get out of here. Get launched. <laughs> Can't ask Missile to come with... Oh, he's talking about Missile. I was gonna say. <laughs> you have to leave. I can't ask Missile to come with me after that. I just said exactly how he feels. Sorry, Missile. We're leaving you behind in the uh, submarine. I want you to go, Missile. What? But Miss Lynn? You staying here won't change our fate. But if you go with Sissel, you might be able to make something happen. That's our only hope. But what if that something doesn't happen? I'll never be able to see you again. Never ever again. Even I can understand that. I, I couldn't stand that. Don't worry, Missile. Miss Camilla? I just know you and Sissy can make something happen. I believe in you. I'll be right here waiting for you. We'll see each other then. Don't worry. Yeah, they're all ghosts because they just drown in the meantime. Miss Camilla! There we go. Fortunately, there's exactly two nodes for us to be in. That's a good boy, Missile. Now, are you ready? Remember, it's 12 seconds after I throw this switch. We're ready. Sissel? Yes? Never found out who you really were. But that doesn't matter now. No, we've known for a while. We've known since, like, chapter 4 or 5. Right, Chan? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Like, we had it confirmed around chapter 8 or so. But yeah, we, we had suspicions way earlier. Nice try, though. All I know is, I'm truly glad I met you tonight. Thank you for everything. I'm glad I met you, Detective. Well, we're gonna see each other ag again, right, Sissy? Right, Missile? 
This will become his namesake, it's true. I bet they were very proud of that pun. And also the reference to Phoenix, right? That's right, we promise, little lady. Of course we will! I'll never forget you, no matter what happens. Here goes, then. Good luck, friend! These 12 seconds are lasting an eternity. I tried to think of a way to save Lin and the little lady the whole time. Now can a ray of light of hope reach as far down into the deep sea? Or I can think of an answer. The 12 seconds are up. For Ghost Trek, it's less of a Phoenix reference and more of a Shu Takami's in real life top palm. Uh oh. Well, the, I thought, well, they... I, I guess so. I guess if the I guess it could have named the thing in Phoenix Wright the same thing, because the dog was also named Missile there, and a lot of the characters are dressed after Phoenix Wright characters. I think we saw at least four Phoenix Wright references aside from the dog. Or I can think of an answer. The twelve seconds are up. There we go, chat. Conveniently also two nodes to hop into. Detective Jode! I bet that big masked man did this! I'm gonna bite him! You better not, you might break your teeth. The man room has lost power and it's sinking. I wonder what this masked man is going to do. Let's talk to Detective Jode! <laughs> he just keeps dying. Sorry for the wait, Detective Jode. Who are you? Are you Sissel? Please excuse my appearance. I can't believe you made it here. How is Kemala? What about Lin? Well, kind of a long story. Fade to black, tell him the story, they run out of time. Tell De Detective Jode about everything that happened on the submarine Yanoa. The submarine is badly damaged. Why would he do that to his own submarine? Wish I knew. I know the answer to that one because he's afraid of my powers. You? You followed us? I didn't even notice. It's been ten long years, Detective Jode. Dot 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 dot. Are you... Yomio? Oh, now we get his name? We're like probably like 40 minutes from beating the game. Seriously? Why was this such a big mystery? Dot dot dot. So, you remember me, do you? How could I possibly forget? That's your real name, huh? Yomiel? That's right. Those people in Yanoa were calling you Sissel. That's just an alias I was using for my deal with them. Didn't see any need to tell them my real name. Could you do me a favor? Would you let me ask you some questions? I've been trying to find out my true identity all night. Sure, go ahead. I know there's plenty we could still tell you. Right, Detective Jode? Right. About Yomiel, ten years ago. You were a top systems engineer, weren't you? Systems engineer? What's that? By the way, I'm a top Pomeranian, you know. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Gabe. Well, it's kind of hard to explain to a dog. It's a person who's good at using computers. I don't mean to brag, but I was one of the best in the industry. That's how I got roped into joining that project. Project? What project? It was a project aimed at reorganizing the nation's top secret information. The goal was to build a new system using multi-dimensional programming theory. It was to join the project by an agent of the government. This doesn't sound like something a top Pomeranian would know anything about. To me, this sounded like another challenging job. Yeah, I was gonna say it's now really the time, exactly. However, this project was also the target of a secret plot. But you can imagine the kind of crime the nation's top secrets might attract. Never thought for the life of me and I'd ever have to deal with spies. It was never made public, but every organization in the country moved on this one. And then, one day, the name of a certain programmer emerged as a suspect. 
I was the guy who built the core of the system. The police arrested you, and then that incident happened. He escaped from the interrogation room and took Little Lin as a hostage. The top percentage Pomeranian? Oh no. By the way, Detective Jode, when was it that I was proven innocent? About six months after your death. I'm so sorry, Yomiol. Real motive for revenge. Ten years ago. Hmm. My soul was split from my body and I lost everything. I was sealed in that eternal darkness. I existed in this world. No question about that. Wee, she's skating by. Wee. But nobody noticed my presence. I mean, you're kind of hard to not notice with the red suit. What good were my powers? They didn't help anybody. Well, you just weren't trying very hard, I guess. Not even the passage of time could heal my pain. In fact, it only made it worse. I wanted to disappear, but I wasn't even allowed to do that. The way Lin described it is exactly right. Sinking slowly towards the bottom of an endless sea. An overwhelming feeling of loneliness and despair. I wanted all of you to suffer what I was suffering. And so that's why you murdered Alma. That's right. I wanted you to know what it was like to lose everything you cared about. I wanted you to feel the same pain I felt. What? Dot dot dot. It was the twisted wish of a mind poisoned by infinite loneliness. And then, as I was plotting my revenge, I had an idea. I came up with a plan to use these powers of mine to make a deal. A deal. There's something I just don't understand about that deal. I'm sure your powers would be very valuable to them, but what would you get out of the deal? New life. Life? I asked them for two conditions. Number one was they helped me with my revenge plot. The second was a rebirth for me. Rebirth? A new beginning, huh? I didn't care if it was a fake life. An artificial life. I just wanted a physical receptacle for my soul. A name. An identity. An everyday life. I wanted to grow old in a society that would accept me. And finally, I wanted to die, surrounded by a loving family. That's the kind of life I asked them for. A completely man-made life. That's right. I knew I couldn't hope for anything more than that. Make it all come true. It would take a lot of money and a lot of power. That's why I decided to ask a national government to help me. Who we won't name here, because we don't like names in this game. And their response in the end was betrayal. Betrayal? They were making their moves much more carefully than I suspected. They sent spies to this country and researched my powers on their own. And they even figured out what Temsik was all about. You had no idea they were doing all this. Not at all. I was a fool. So then, why did they go to all the trouble of making a deal with you? Why didn't they just steal a hunk of the Temsik meteorite from the park? They couldn't. Huh? After the manipulator incidents, research was conducted in this country too. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, back in the Southern Dead. I know. They're they're having like sea mother length stories. Do you know what I mean, Chad? I'm like, geez. Is now really the time? At least talk about this while going four minutes of the past. You can multitask, it's fine. We know we can keep going back to the past as often as we could. Report was submitted to the government about the source of manipulator's power. I inspired. By Inspector Cabanella and the old pigeon guy, huh? Because he's more of an A, I guess. At first, the government didn't believe the report. But then, they decided to put the park under surveillance, just in case. Surveillance, huh? This looks like an ordinary, peaceful park. But there are armed agents there at all times. Ah! 
Don't tell me that odd leaflet guy is one of them. No, not him. He's just a plain old odd person. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. Got a little laugh from me. That park is like a silent battlefield. On an international scale. There you go. So that's why they couldn't steal the Temsic meteorite. And lately, under the pretense of building a housing site. They've been working on a plan to destroy that park. In order to secure the Temsic meteorite. So that's it, eh? So the upshot of your grand deal was this, eh? Yes, it's the ending I deserve. But at least there's one thing you must be happy about. What's that? You've managed to seal me away at the bottom of the sea forever. Dot dot dot. Well, can we get started? Started with what? Bringing Detective Joad back to life, of course. What? What good will that do now? But we promised! We promised Miss Lynn and Miss Camel and we'd save them. Fall by blah 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 blah. <laughs> we can't do that without you, Detective Joad. Dot 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 exclamation mark. Been guided by fate tonight to this place. I won't give up now. Alright, fine. Let's see where it leads us. Dot 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 dot. Here we go then. Back to four minutes before your death. Oh my gosh, this is just there's so many puzzles. Well, I think I'm gonna be late to what I have to go to. Because I don't think I should pause the game here. We're gonna keep going, I guess. I want it to be done by one, just for chat clarity. We're, we are nine minutes from one. Well, we'll play as long as it needs to be. I'll just let them know. Give me a second. I'll let them know I'm gonna be late by like 20, 30 minutes. So... Yeah, not in my wildest dreams that I think three and a half hours would be these two chapters. They're so story dense. Where are we headed? We are not headed anywhere, Detective. What? There was only enough fuel on board to launch us away, Detective. We will run out soon, and that will be our destination, Detective. What are you talking about? That would mean that you're trapped here too. By the way, I am not human, detective. There we go. I am a remote-controlled robot, detective. What? Your country's use of technology is just plain off. We get that a lot, detective. Why would you go to all the trouble to do this? It's not- it's nothing but a shell there. It's hardly a threat anymore. Commander Sith likes to provide against- or yeah. Commander Sith likes to provide against all possibility. No matter how small, detective. Possibility? What are you talking about? There is no need for you to know, detective. Boop, 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 boop. Smack. There we go. Now it is time to say goodbye, Detective. In the end, your fate remains the same, it seems, Detective. He likes repeating the last word at the end of his sentences, I've noticed. Ugh! Pamela, forgive me. It isn't over yet. I send all sentences of a detective, detective. Yeah, because he, he was saying that a lot when he was with the other person. Just a speech gimmick, I guess. He would have fit right in with Chrono Cross, I'm just saying. Isn't it? Or it isn't, excuse me. Remember what that big masked man said? Any possibility, no matter how small. Possibility. In other words, there must be a chance here somewhere. The possibility of turning the situation around. Dot, dot, dot. Here we go, we're going back in time. Trick time. Huh? What is it, Detective? Look at Yomio's shell. There's no aura emanating from his body. Of course there isn't. The gem sick fragment is gone. Did this change in his shell? Give us some kind of lead? Here we go, chat. Dot, dot, dot. Figured it out. I know with this possibility, no matter how small it is, that they're afraid of. What is it? My time was perpetually stopped, thanks to the power of Temsic. 
His body cycled between the moments that separated his life and death. Right, but not anymore. The Temsic fragment has been sealed away. Exactly. So what does that mean? I get it. Your body won't come back to life anymore. The moment the Temsic fragment was removed, my shell became a regular corpse. So let's see, that means we could go back? Back to four minutes before your death? But wait a minute, exactly when is that death? That's simple. We'll find out. When we get there, let's move. Rewind time, chat. More deathception. Ooh, it didn't let me skip it this time. Because we're going so far back, apparently. Go back through the cracks of time for what seemed like forever. And then I saw it. The final death at the end of this long night. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to do a summary of the game or final thoughts a different day. Because this, as I said before, went way past expectations in time. Who exactly am I? I've already seen all the clues. All I have to do now is remember. The final journey to the truth starts now. I mean, it just starts now. There's so many, there's been so many puzzles. Oh my gosh, chat, please let this be a simple puzzle. Okay, we got to save, let's continue. So just time, just final chapter, time unknown. That was a long final chapter. When was Yomiel's death? It was 10 years ago when the Tesmic meteorite fell. Travel back through time, and now we're here at the scene of that death. The start of it all is about to replay itself. There's the statue of the gods. Four minutes before death, 5.26 p.m. Hold it. Give it up. Do you really think you can outrun me? Okay, Detective Gumshoe. Exactly, hold it. Now just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. There we go. Huh? Oh, a kitten. Shoo, you might get hurt. So, we know he dies from the meteorite, but the detective is still going to shoot, presumably. Because that's why he was saying he think he killed him anyway. So we have to make sure we're probably going to replace the bullet with something. Maybe he'll get felt-hatted or something dumb. There we go. Destroyed. Oh well, let's cause a time paradox. <laughs> right, chat? Are you okay? You're alright now. Are you hurt? You saved me, mister? I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. So that's the Temsic meteorite, eh? It's beautiful, looking at it from this angle. Change all of our fates completely. Can't stop Temsic from falling from the sky. Might be able to protect you from the fragment and save your life. Huh? Dot dot dot. I don't know. What's the matter, Detective Jode? To be perfectly honest, I'm scared. The meteorite fragment doesn't get him. I'm pretty sure I would have shot him. Dot dot dot. Might not be able to change your fate of dying. Dot dot dot. I can accept that. What I did is inexcusable. No matter how the future might change, that fact will never go away. My fate is to die here. Then I accept that. This will be our last battle against fate. Beyond that will be a new future. Okay, let's get started. Quick, possess the detective. <laughs> right, chat, possess everybody. Okay, do we get any new abilities? 
now, how are we going to save you? Link would just wander off somewhere. That would solve everything. When her sweet potato is almost ready, huh, she's not going to budge from that spot. Her sweet potato? What? But you know, it makes me wonder. Little girl all alone in the park listening to music and roasting a sweet potato. What kind of childhood did this girl have? I have so many questions. Doesn't everybody have at least one day in their life like that? Give her a break. Anyway, Lynn won't budge from that spot. We'll just have to have the fragment move instead. Hmm. I can't reach. Talk briefly. Miss Lynn looks so happy. Sure she's happy. She's about to eat some sweet potato. That happiness is about to be shattered in a single instant. Japanese roast sweet potatoes like that? Good to know. <laughs> just for me, I'm just, I have no context. This is just not a thing. Not a thing that I know of. Ugh. I don't think you're seeing the big picture. Anyway, we have to keep our eyes peeled for a chance to make our move. Right. I don't want to drop the ball or the sweet potato. I think I do want to drop the sweet potato, actually. Let's wait for her to get kidnapped. Because she was kind of passed out for a while. Uh, I'm not going to talk to Missile here. Let's just, let's just complete the puzzle. I'm pretty sure I just have to do... Wake her up, right? Yeah, let's, let's wake her up. What are you doing? You're going to hurt poor Miss Lynn's ears. Yeah, but she threw the sweet potato. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. You really startled her. You even made her drop her sweet potato. You know how much this girl loves her food, too. Anyway, at least your fate has changed, albeit ever so slightly. That's quite a checkpoint. Potato ruined, fate changed. I love it. Alright, let's go over here for now. Now I can come over to the... I can examine the sweet potato and get dialogue. Sure, I'll examine it. What in the world is this thing? Oh boy, you even forgot what a sweet potato is? It's a roasted root vegetable. It's good. There's nothing like them on a cold winter's day. They're sweet and they smell delicious. It's got sure making me want to try one. Alright, so now I can come over here. I can rock the basket. I can spray something. Oh, there's something in there. Oops. Uh, maybe I have to time the spray? We're gonna launch the sweet potato? Oh, uh, th this... You know, that that cutscene popping up there throwed, threw me off. Oh, look at that sweet potato. Yeah, I know. I, I want it to be that. <sighs> so annoying. That thing popped up and stopped me from pressing for a second. That was actually super rude. Wow, I'm just gonna rewind right now. I know that's what I had to do. I got robbed for sure. Uh, let's do this. Uh, let, let's continue. I 100% got cheated out of that chat. I'm pretty sure I knew what to do. I even had the timing down. It just put the stupid thing in the middle, and I, I, I don't know if I misclicked or what happened. Yeah, it, it did something like that. I'm gonna wait here, so this isn't gonna change. There we go. There we go. I beat it this time. Exactly, become potato which suspiciously looks like the Rock of the Gods. Big scary sweet potato. Hmm. It's not a sweet potato missile, that's Mino. Oh, right, of course. Look at them, the potato and Mino. Right now they both have the same shape. You're saying you could swap them, huh? Good idea, missile. Okay, here I go. I'm gonna need your help. My help. We're gonna move you over here. And we're 
we're going to spray higher. Have the doll go here. Okay, at least this puzzle isn't too bad. I don't know what it is I'm lo I'm like... Guess we'll swap. That was quite a sight to see. Looks like this part just got a new feature. Neither one of them even glanced this way. Oh, oh, I messed up. I understand what I was supposed to do. Oops. Hey, it was a desperate situation. Kill or be killed. Yomi is killed right after this by the meteorite. Well, now that the park has a new feature, we use it to our advantage in any way. No, I messed up. Well, unless... No, I can't reach it. Damn. I had a feeling I messed up. Damn. I could have swapped it with this if I had been faster. I feel like that's mostly been the problem with Ghost Trick so far. It's that sometimes it's not even that I don't understand. It's not that I don't understand what to do, but like I miss the timing by like a little bit and I have to reset, which I do find kind of annoying. I gotta do all that again. Not great. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I know what to do. So once I swamp them in the middle, then I have to swap them again with the thing on the right so the meteorite doesn't hit them. Yeah, there's like a little bit of a delay after you activate something that you can't go in there as well. I think that's also what happened earlier. Okay. to go higher. This is what I could have done earlier, chat. This is what I was talking about. I missed I missed that window of opportunity slightly. Oh look, the lamppost is bending. But it hasn't broken yet. Really is a wonder it hasn't snapped. Might just hold out for a little while longer. I recall. Demsic fragment smashed through the glass lantern on its way down. The Mino sits firmly in its way. And fate should change. Okay. So I could go over here, not that this would do anything. Um, I guess I just wait over here. I don't think there's anything else I could do. I think I do just wait. Not time for that meteorite to come down. Don't worry, Missile. I think we're ready for it. What's right in the fragment's path? Oh, okay. The giant sweet potato. Anything could get in that in the way. That ugly monster can. Ouch. Anyway, another fragment's path's about to change. Huh? Here we go. There, how's that? Look, the fragment's course. It changed a little. Now Yomio's fate should really change. Wait a minute. I'm gonna look at the fragment's trajectory. Oh, there's change. What's in its path? Oh, it's gonna hit the cat now. In its path. No! It got the cat. I think? Or it got him in the leg. That also works. Detective Joe! Temzik fragment shot through his leg. What? The cruel twists of fate weren't over yet. Oh, I was gonna hit the cat. Come on, put it down. Huh? Dude, put the gun down now. If you don't, you're going to shoot him. I don't know if it's detective training. Oh, if it's his detective training or what. Even though he's shaking from the pain, the gun doesn't waver. Put the gun down! 
No! Knew it. This is my true fate. In the end, sold its life away with my own hands. I won't let that happen! Missile. The bullet stopped in midair. Are we gonna sweep Potato up in the face? Excellent. I'm here, inside the bullet! Remember, you want me from getting hit by the meter? Doesn't mean he's just gonna get shot by Joad. Yeah, pretty much. Good call, chat. What? With what? Detective Joad. Meteorite Fragment is what made you pull the trigger. Don't let you become a murderer. Yeah, I was gonna say, where's our wool hat? It's to prove that murder isn't the detective's true fate. Or murderer, excuse me. To do that, we have to stop the bullet. Must be something with the same shape as the bullet around here. What a conveniently shaped sweet potato. Sweet potato. Wait, did he get impaled? Wait, what? <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, did we just give him like a brutal, like Final Destination style murder? <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh no, we stopped the bullet. But we still couldn't save him. That's not true. My fate of getting pierced through the back might not have changed, but I'm still alive. That sounds terrible. <laughs> what? <laughs> what indeed? I'm not dead. I'm just unconscious. <laughs> okay. Okay, so your fate of death has changed, but still, this fate is just too painful to watch in every sense. I don't think so. As long as I'm alive, that's good enough for me. But we overlooked one thing. Will of fate was still slowly turning. Look out! Wake up! You gotta get out of there! Hmm. There we go. Damn it, my leg won't work. It's all over, we're out of time. Miss Lynn! It's not over yet. There isn't anything else to swap with. Why don't we just let it play out and then try to find another way next time? And if she dies, all you have to do is possess her corpse. And you could redo her last four minutes as many times as it takes. No, I won't do that. Why not? Sure, the fact of her death would be erased, but her memory of it would remain, like a scar on her psyche. Won't let that happen. Not if I can help it. <laughs> I almost kind of want a game over on purpose, Chad, I'm not gonna lie. What can we do now? What if we work together? Dot, dot, dot. I think there might be something that could be done. What is it? What can Sissel and I do? Don't forget, I'm here too. The three kinds of powers among us. We might not... We ought to be able to fight this battle. This battle against the fate of death. <laughs> She's died like four times. But she dies while young. <laughs> Yomio. Thistle, your power is manipulating objects. Use your power to manipulate this. Huh? I don't get it. Just trust me. Let's go. Alright, I'll try to move there. Now, gather your strength. Make it sprays if your life depended on it. Oh, we're gonna launch the other basketball thing that's there. Uh, I'm dead though. In that case, make it spray as if your death depended on it. Give it your all. Remember, you only have a split second. Okay, now do it. Got it. Now it's your turn, missile. What? I'm me? But what can I do? I think you know the answer to that. Well, okay, got it. You can swap them. I've got concrete, we'll go back to its original position. But, what if I swap it? It'll still be right above Miss Lynn. Don't worry. Okay, I'll do it. I'll swap them. It's no use. We can't start, stop that horrible Mino. What can we do now? I don't see how gaining a second or two helped. Oh, it helped, all right. Oh, he's gonna possess his own body and get crushed by it? Oh, okay. Those few seconds were exactly what I wanted. Last up, it's my turn. Your turn? You know what my power is, right? It manipulate living creatures. Wait a minute, you mean? That's right. I'm gonna save that little girl. Save her by manipulating my own unconscious body.
You gods. Ah, oh, you're awake. Hey, mister, is your knee okay? Yay, we crippled him in the future. Huh? Oh, well, it'll be fine. It's just a scrape. I'm lucky it wasn't a fatal hit. The main thing is that you're not hurt. You... you saved me, mister? I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. These kneecap can help possess people, exactly. You know... Do you think you could go call the police for me? I think you could do it quicker than I could. But... What's that? This is a detective's badge. We give them the children who've been very brave. A detective's badge? It's like, great, now I could commit all the crimes. <laughs> right, chat? Can you imagine? Thanks! She just never comes back. Okay, you know what to do, little detective. It's like an attorney bat showed to everyone all the time, exactly. Press Y to present the item. You were live. Yeah, sadly. Oh. Hang on, help is coming. What made you do such a reckless thing? To be perfectly honest, I don't really know. I came to. My body was already moving all by itself. As if somebody else was controlling me. I see. Oops, sorry about that. But you know. I'm glad it happened. Maybe the cat did get hit. Hey, mister? I found this kitten. It was over there. Come to think of it. I saw it a few minutes ago. Probably a stray. Kind of limp. Is it okay? I don't know. I think it's unconscious. That's funny. Does it look like it's injured or anything? Yup, we got hit by the meteor chat. Poor little kitty. How about if I take it to my house and look after it? You'd like to come home with me, little kitten. Well, looks like his fate just changed in a big way. Whose fate? That kitten's, of course. Sissel's. Sissel? The name Sissel echoes in my head. That's my real name. These long, lonely ten years, you were my one and only friend. How about it? Do you remember now? Our real names, they would be using all along. Gasp, exactly. There we go, Chan. Old friend. There we go. We have become cat. I think... I think I finally remember. Ten years ago, I was a little kitten that wandered into this park. I was weak and all alone in the world. Uh, we're showing this cutscene for like the millionth time. I'm not voicing it, chat. You've seen the kidnapping scene like seven times in this game. They really overplay the scene, I'm not gonna lie. We saw it at least three times today. <laughs> Somebody, please look at me. Yeah, you might get hurt, blah, blah, blah. What an upgrade. Yeah, we got upgraded. Somebody please reach out a hand to me. I'd only just died at that time. Lost everything. My life, my memory. My body wouldn't move anymore. I still managed to reach out a hand to him. Next thing I know, 
My soul had transferred to the Black Kitten. No recollection of who I was. I lived as a cat with you for a while. There we go, Chad. After a while, the man regained his memory, went back to being just a cat. Then the man got his body back. <laughs> He's like, I must return from the dead to adopt cat. I took my body back from the morgue. There's somebody I just had to go see. Just one more time. took control of my body and hurried to her house. That was just a little too late. I just missed her as she left this world. She left me a note that said, I'm coming to you, Yomio. Oh, there's the moon from earlier. A man named me Sissel. His name is something he had lost, along with his life. Something important, excuse me. It's fiance. She told me about it once, but I didn't understand what it was. Those ten years were very happy for me, but they weren't happy for the man. There's nothing I could do for him. For ten years, I wandered through the darkness with. Oh, for ten years, I wandered through the darkness with no particular place to go. As time passed, my powers gradually changed. At first, I could only manipulate small creatures and objects. Then after a while, I could manipulate people. That's when the darkness inside me deepened, and I started to get a little twisted. I wanted light. I didn't understand what a fiancé was, but I thought I knew what submarines and Rube Goldberg machines were. Don't think about it too hard. Distorted artificial light. I got my revenge on Lin. I would see that light. Or at least that's what I tried to believe. I left my old self buried in the junkyard and walked away. Mm-hmm. Yep, we saw that before. The black cat. It's possessing Sissel then. Wouldn't look very much like a murder if the corpse got up and walked away after all. So you borrowed the body of your old friend. Sissel was inside that bag I was carrying tonight. I had no intention of leaving my friend behind in this country when I left. But then, when I went to possess his body, I realized something horrible. What was that? Sissel, there inside the bag, was dead. What? I wasn't able to control her completely. That first bullet didn't hit anything, or so I thought. But it did hit something, didn't it? It's Sissel inside that bag. Yes, that's when I lost my life. Right there in the presence of the Tesmic Radiation. That's when I got my powers of the dead. My ghost tricks. I think I understand it now. Why was I the only one who could why I was the only one who couldn't get his memory back? It's because I thought that corpse was me. It's the only corpse I could see at the time, after all. But as it turns out, it wasn't the only dead body. My true death was hiding just behind that corpse. Now that I think about it, remember what what you said? You knew all along about me saving Lin tonight? You knew. Why didn't you try to stop me? It's simple. 
Because I couldn't, even if I wanted to. Huh? Why not? Remember the thing about individual differences and the powers we got. I can control all kinds of things. From the living to the dead. But even so, there's some things that you can do that I can't. You mean... Can't even rewind time, let alone change the fate of a death. If I could do those things, I would have saved your life. Such a world that's only exists in two dimensions, exactly. It's not fair, we're not allowed to be background objects. Not only that, never would have just let my fiancé stay dead like that. But you're here ten years in the past now. That's thanks to your powers. I just tagged along with you. In any case, now the starting point of this entire tragedy has changed dramatically, altering fate. The fate of your death, the kitten Sissel's fate. I can just bet you the fate of the woman you love has changed too. Wonder if Missile will still like us now that we're a cat? Probably. We still didn't get this. The game still has to explain Ray, which I still think is Missile from a different time loop. <laughs> Because remember, they say the powers change over time, so maybe after X number of years after the incident, he could go back in time, because he's so old. So he's now a wise old dog. <laughs> I guess we'll see if that happens. Yes, I believe you're right. So, this was the last fate to be averted, eh? Fate averted. So, Yomio. Looks like your plan for revenge ended in failure. Yes. I'm glad, too. Uh huh? Da da da. I think I kind of understand now. What you've been feeling these ten years. He understood. She shed tears for me. That's when my revenge was over. She saved me from the darkness. Well, I guess it's time we got back. New 10 years later was just born. <laughs> we, we, have, we have basically destroyed reality, chat. Like, just... Boom. Right, we should get back to our new present. Can't wait to see Miss Lynn and Miss Kamala again. <laughs> They're still in the submarine, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> These past 10 years will now all vanish. Well, not completely. The memories of all of us here will remain. Including the memory of what I did. My crime. That's the way this game of the dead works, eh? No matter what the reason. There's no denying the fact I took Lynn hostage and tried to point a gun at her. No intention of running away from that crime either. Most inexcusable crime in my new life. Yeah, damn, we're murdering the timeline like we're in Chrono Trigger all over again. A hey, Sissel. Yes? We go back. Fates will no longer be interconnected. We'll be like we never met. Before that happens, I just want to say one thing. Tonight, I stole away your life with my own hands. I am truly sorry. Dot dot dot. That's already a thing of the lost past. Fates have changed now, right, Yomio? Thank you, Sissel. I'm so very glad I met you. Me too, Yomio. Sissel? Are we ever going to see each other again? Couldn't stand it if we weren't. Don't worry, Missile. I bet we'll see each other again someday. I mean, we're probably literally in the same apartment, right? Wouldn't we just get adopted? <laughs> Ten years from now, our paths are short to cross. Yeah, we're literally going to be adopted by Lynn, right? This is where the story is going. We'll just have to wait until then. Sissel, I'll, I'll never forget you. Never forget you either, valiant little doggy. Well, looks like you've come to live with me now. Let's get... Let's be getting home, little black cat. Home, huh? Sounds good, Detective Jode. We all witnessed the birth of a new beginning, and now... We're each going back to our new present. Say goodbye to the parts of our stories that would be lost, believing that someday our paths would cross again. Okay, skip that. Wait! Take that, clock. Before you go back to a new present, I wanted to thank you. There we go, finally, right, chat? Before I cease to exist. Oh, it's you. Yes, it is I, Ray, in case you have forgotten again. 
Thanks to you, everything has turned out as I'd hoped. Really grateful to you, Cecil. Thank you. Dot, dot, dot. But don't forget, I'm only on the journey to find my own lost memory. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I know all about you. Can I ask you a question, Ray? I want to know. Who exactly are you? Dot, dot, dot. Come on, dog reveal. Fair enough. I'll tell you. Let me tell you another version of tonight's events. Double the missile, double the fun, chat. You changed the fates of many people tonight. The first of which was hers. <laughs> Just <laughs> remember that guy you killed? <laughs> Great times. <laughs> Murder's fun. If you had not been there for her tonight, they would have been to die in that lonely spot on the outskirts of town. If that had happened, what do you suppose would have happened? Let me tell you a story. A story of a little creature. Oh yeah, it's gonna be Missile. After they stole her light that night, he broke into her apartment. Mm-hmm. The original death of Missile with the Quadra Tails. <laughs> That's still messed. Why did they have to shoot the dog in that scenario? They stole the wooden box from the ceiling hiding place and left. And in the process... Two little dead bodies were left behind. However, the little fellow's spirit lived on. He just really reached out his paw towards his mistress. That's when a miracle occurred. What? Look at that. The powers of the dead. But how? He didn't really understand it himself. Not yet, anyway. But with all you know now, I bet you understand it, do you not? Hey, wait a minute. That's right. He died inside the aura of that strange energy. <laughs> There's a lot of dog murder in this game for some reason. But unfortunately, with his meager powers, he was able to save his little mistress. There wasn't anything he could do with only the power to swap objects. He had the power to manipulate objects in order to save the little lady. The little fellow chased after the men. There still wasn't anything he could do. In the end, he was left behind with the man in the red in the deep, deep sea. And then... He went back. But back to the world of ten years before. The moment of the man in red's death. What? Oh no, chat. We're, we were in somebody else four minutes before. It never ends, chat. <laughs> he decided to wait it out. Decided to wait until that night came again. And that's the other version of the story of this night. A story that's taken these ten years to be retold. That was you, huh? Is it gonna be older missile or just the same missile graphic? Yeah, there we go, chat. Older missile. That's right. I'm missile. Ten years is a very long time in dog years. You can change the fates of the people on your own. You decide to wait those ten years out. Exactly. Then at last, that fateful night rolled around again. How did a ghost grow old? Don't think about it. By this time, I'd grown old and my powers were weak. I decided I needed to find somebody to help me this time around. Somebody who possessed different powers than me. But wait a second. I'm able to manipulate that desk lamp. Over the course of my long years, my powers changed. My ability to swap objects weakened. But I became able to manipulate small objects. But in that case, why didn't you cooperate with yourself? As I couldn't. Huh? I'm watching the man in red. I found out there were individual differences in our powers. I couldn't do any of the things he could do. I traveled through the telephone lines, for example. What? It may not seem like much, but it's a very important power. Especially if you're trying to chase somebody. There's something I don't understand. 
from the very beginning that I had that power. How did you know so much about me? Why wouldn't I? After all, we had met before. On that night, the first time around. We what? We met before. Oh man, chat, here we go. From listening to the conversation of the two intruders in the apartment, I learned that Miss Lynn had lost her life at the junkyard in the edge of town. Followed the ghost world past to the junkyard. He came upon an incredible scene. I know. <laughs> this this got very complex at the end for a uh, Phoenix Wright style game. Imagine, if you will, there in the darkness, a twisting and swiveling desk lamp. In my first stand on it, I could tell you. Th that was me? I was shot on the night the first time around as well. You lost your memory that time too. You just died and you felt confused. You declined to cooperate with me. You did what? I find my own lost memory. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. That's what you said. And then you disappeared. Way over the telephone line. Really sorry I didn't help you. That's why I decided that this time, use that desire of yours to our mutual advantage. Damn, we got outsmarted by the dog. Mutual advantage? The only thing you were interested in finding was your own lost memory. If it could guide you along the right path to doing that, we'd both benefit. And namely, the right path would be the path to the man in red, to Yomio. What? I gave you the information you needed to know to set you in the right direction. And then I gave you a time limit. Time limit? That's right. As you know, I said you had only until tomorrow morning. If I hadn't done that, you wouldn't have found out the truth tonight. The man in red would have been sealed away at the bottom of the sea forever. If that had happened, it would have been all over. Then, you mean, the thing about ceasing to exist? Oh, that? Completely made up. A little naughty of me, I know. I just wanted to use your time wisely. Damn. Oh, boy. Hate to admit it, but this little doggy really outsmarted me in every way. Let's just call it the wisdom that comes with the age. With excuse me. Let's just call it the wisdom that comes with age. And now it's time to say farewell. The past ten years will cease to exist. And with them, so will I. Missile. I believed in you. Always knew you could do it. And so you did. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Missile. So you waited and waited these ten long years. All for the sake of your two ladies. Lynn and Kamala, huh? Of course! Because that's what doggies do! Now then, farewell, Sissel. Farewell, old man Missile. So the story of a single night came to an end. Nobody but us knew what really happened in this town tonight. Made my way back. Back to a new present. Ooh, it's auto-advancing dialogue now, Chad. 10-year-old single night, exactly. Huh? How come it's dark? Just turn on the lights here. Bang. <laughs> right shot. Right shot. Just, just done. Shot. Game over. Then TNT. <laughs> right shot TNT. There we go. <laughs> Were you surprised? You bet I was. You nearly scared me to death. I was gonna say, the cherub falls and lands on a detonator, blows up the house. Yippee, it worked! It's not even my birthday today. It was my mom's birthday the day before yesterday. I did a surprise for her. But it came out so well, I wanted to use it again. That's alright, Lynn. After all, we're celebrating the birth of your new position as detective, right? Really? Thank you, Detective Jode. Dad, you're home! Hi, Kevin. Let me introduce you. This is Lynn. Just assigned to the detective division today. Hi, Kevin. It's nice to meet you. 
Nice to meet you too, Lin. Congratulations on becoming a detective. Huh? Something wrong. You want one of those badges too? Oh, this? Yeah. I have one just like it. My dad just gave it to me the other day. Yours looks a lot older than mine, though. Oh, how long are you gonna keep wearing that toy badge, Lin? What's wrong with it? To me, this is the symbol of a real detective. Oh, that's definitely attorney badge vibes. Been ten years since then, hasn't it? Would have guessed you'd actually become a detective one day. You gave me this badge, I just knew. I knew it was my destiny somehow. Destiny, eh? Now that I'm a detective, find out where that destiny will lead me. It's gonna lead her to getting crushed multiple times. Huh. That you will. That you will. Cat meows. Oh, hello. Don't tell me you're that same little kitten. That's right, the very one. You know what? This is a very, very special cat. It's 10 years old, but he's still a kitten. Still a kitten? Oh, never got any bigger or anything. Wow, what a mysterious little fellow. I know, right? His name is Sissel. Sissel? Hmm, seems to me I've heard that name somewhere before. I think Sissel likes you, Lin. Oh, there's the mother. All right, everyone. Let's start the celebration. Okay, Mom. Nice. And then we get to watch everybody we know slowly grow old and die. <laughs> what an ending to Ghost Trick. I bet you're just like me. Destiny led you here somehow, too. So we meet again, Sissel. For just that single night as a human, I got a glimpse into the world and I learned something. Their fates, their lives, they were all interconnected. Somewhere, somehow, in some way. And now this is my new fate. My new fate to never learn Kemala's mom's identity either. Listen, their names aren't important. <laughs> According to the game. She's just white. I think it's Alma, technically. But why they didn't name her or something is kind of funny. Guess I really am a cat. Since we just find a curl up and watch. It looks like I'll have plenty to watch here for quite a while. I don't know why they didn't just give her a name there. Like, they said it two or three times, I think. But I don't think Man in the Park ever had a name. There you go. Happy birthday to our lovely Lynn. Uh, like I said, it isn't my birthday. There we go. The real star of the show is here. Hey, Missile. What I asked you to stay home and guard the fort. But birthdays are for celebrating together. We're friends and loved ones. Nothing like it, baby. Inspector Carpe Diem, pretty much. I guess we'll... S I mean, presumably none of the other fates will happen to the other people. Oh no, he's trying to do the dance. There. How do you like that? Not bad, huh? Definitely not good. I'm assuming we're just gonna see where he goes. Maybe now I could be a great detective, just like Inspector Cabanella. What kind of example is the inspector providing for his men? Fairness, Kemal is gonna call her mom. Lynn just met her, and Joan is actually tough to use a pet name. Yeah, but the game could identify her with her name. Here's your food, gentlemen. We'll never learn the name of the, uh, just the cabinet member. Memory, what are you doing here? I heard you were going to be picking some new members for the special investigation unit today. The chief will be your name, that's fair. You don't go on a part-time job here again, just to eavesdrop our conversations. Oh, you have no idea the lengths I go to reach my goals. 
Yeah, I love that they all have little nicknames, but then, like, in their own bios, they still don't get named for some reason. I don't think Man in the Park had a name. I don't think Justice Minister had a name. I don't think Chief had a name. I don't even think the Pigeon guy had a name. That's a lot of characters that not have names. La la la, I've never cooked this way before. So exotic, so exciting. Turmeric, coriander, cumin, and fenugreek. Curry chicken paradise. Is this really necessary, this new curry chicken menu item? Aw, oh, but our very best customer requested it. Now good luck with the taste testing. Oh boy, I don't think I could eat another bite. Just who exactly is this very best customer anyway? There we go, chat. I guess that's his payoff so far? Question mark? I am super late. This went so much longer than I could have predicted. Are you really sure you need to use all these explosives? Not to worry, beauty, my dear. I followed the instructions exactly. 20 telegrams of gunpowder, just like it said. Wait a minute. 20 kilograms. I thought it was 20 grams. I guess they're just ultra dead. GG to the villains, I guess. So are we gonna see the rock star and the justice minister? Speaking of which. This is where you work, huh, Papa? That's right, sweetheart. Darling husband, don't you have any ideas at all you could give me? You must have heard some juicy stories. Indiscretions of a minister, perhaps. Now, now. As you talk that way in front of our darling angel, here is to the stodgy mind of my darling husband. <laughs> I like how the glass in her hand never has a core. It's so ingrained into her being. You just can't zip into it. She will never part with it. This deal is going quite well, oh, I must say. These grapes are quite good, my man. You know what's about to scrape the bottom of the sea, sir. Be forewarned, sir. He <laughs> God. Keep it together, man. Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? I believe I nearly died of fright just now. Other the year she is wine, true, true. There we go. Love, peace, and pigeons. Long live rock and roll. Park from charging admission. Protect the rights of those who live here. So his life is still terrible. <laughs> we we did not solve anything in those ten years. More panic dance. Today's the day, you know. He's finally getting out. Oh, they're gonna be talking about Yo Meal. You know, everybody's starting to get real tired of seeing you do that. Well, let me show you a new dance that's been passed down in our family for generations. We do this, then we have a stomach ache. We call it Dance Away the Pain. I meant when we have one. Oh, I'm real interested in that one. I think you could show it to me, say, next week. You got it.
I mean, Park Guy probably gave the same way when he witnesses me to flying over the place. And below, like, like, he's not been locked up. He's crazy. He's not dangerous. Just let him be. There we go, Chad. Are we going to paint a picture of the cat? Is that what that's going to be there? Ten long years, Yomil. Your time's up today. The lady who always comes to visit you is waiting outside. Now he is the art smog. It did. He, did. he did get an outfit upgrade, to be fair. It could be of her. It could be of the cat. Thank you, Sissel. More likely the cat. You're not going to turn it dramatically to reveal? Really? You're just not going to show what's on it? Wow. Zero out of ten, chat. Game ruined. It's over. There we go. Game salvaged. Oh no, the cat's crossing dimensions. It's only getting more powerful. Is it? Oh god, I was gonna say, do you need me to touch anything, game? saving turning off save complete returning to title okay i was gonna say chat it's actually gonna turn out the cat is lavos <laughs> just combine everything together so nothing unlocked for beating the game i guess i could check the menu here briefly Also, my life, the only spawn man pursued a trap like time with a big thing at all. So it doesn't seem to save. Nothing, nothing really got updated here. I guess we saw everything. So, Chan, I do really have to go though. So, I guess we'll just do a short summary of what happened today. I think I predicted a lot of the plot, but I don't think I could have predicted the submarine. <laughs> that was just that was just totally ridiculous. The torpedo, some of the other minor details, I was pretty close on, honestly. But yeah, that whole the whole submarine shenanigans, the, the all that other stuff was just something else. I was uh very wacky, very Looney Tunes. Yeah, I'll, I'll think about how I feel about the game overall for final thoughts, but that will be for another day. So hopefully you enjoyed the game, chat. We are officially done with it. We'll do a summary next time. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch at this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And I guess see you in the final thoughts.